Hello, hello, everybody. How's it going? The music might be a little bit on the loud side still. Let's tune that down a bit. That's probably a little bit better. Darkest Dungeon's got some some pretty sweet uh, ambiance to it, but can it be a, bit, a little bit overbe overbearing at times? Uh, especially if it's said a bit too loud. How's it going, Emziggles? Kbert C N, Benoit, the Boomer, Burana, Nimarina, Mauvum, Rothkin, Toka two two two. Nagara tip. Hello and good morning, everybody. But I did want to set up a uh, channel points thing for this. So we can name people after. Viewers in uh, Darkest Dungeon. We'll do the bike. Right. Been playing Discount Reverse Darkest Dungeon. Oh, Aratus Lord of the Dead. Yeah, I've heard. Uh, I've heard of. Uh, I've heard of that one. <laughs> Immediately. Dozy Line and Emziggles jumping on in, volunteering themselves. So can you watch Dark Ascension if you don't know anything about the game? Absolutely. You most certainly can, uh, Kira Valar. You absolutely can. Uh, we'll be trying to explain the uh, core mechanics as we go. This is my first time playing this on stream in a very, very long time. So I'll be, uh, I'll be explaining as I go. <laughs> Apparently I didn't set the price high enough. Everybody's already on board. I haven't even got into the save file. And we've already got a, a half dozen requests here. Just making sure I uh, have all the names down of people in the queue for a uh, for a name. So this is Darkest Dungeon, uh, which was the community voted game for December. Um, Darkest Dungeon is how do I describe Darkest Dungeon? It's got rogue light elements to it. Um, but it's done more of a more in a campaign style, with some similarities to XCOM. You control adventuring parties venturing into some truly abhorrent dungeons, um, fighting horrifying creatures and uh, trying not to be driven insane by the the Lovecraftian style encounters they have. Uh, I think the game the game does a very good job of setting its own scene. So let's watch the intro cutscene to this game together because it is uh, really masterfully well done. The narration is definitely one of the game's strongest points, and uh, is it Wayne June? I think his name is provides a fantastic narrator to this game. Ruin has come to our family. You remember our venerable house? Opulent and imperial. Opulent and imperial. Gazing proudly from its stoic perch above the moor. I lived all my... Dang it, the, uh, <laughs> sorry about that. The mute key. I was gonna take a sip of water. The mute key apparently also skipped the cutscene there. Ruin Let's try that one more time. has come to our family. 
You remember our venerable house? Opulent and imperial, gazing proudly from its stoic perch above the moor. I lived all my years in that ancient, rumor-shadowed manor, fattened by decadence and luxury. And yet I began to tire of conventional extravagance. Singular unsettling tales suggested the mansion itself was a gateway to some fabulous and unnameable power. Let's go, Malkavian. With relic and ritual, I bent every effort towards the excavation and recovery of those long buried secrets, exhausting what remained of our family fortune on swarthy workmen and sturdy shovels. At last, in the salt soaked crags beneath I can listen the to this guy talk about we unearthed that damnable portal of antediluvian evil. Our every step unsettled the ancient earth. But we were in a realm of death and madness. In the end, I alone fled laughing and wailing through those blackened arcades of antiquity. Until consciousness failed me. You remember our venerable house. Opulent and imperial. It is a festering abomination. I beg you, return home, claim your birthright, and deliver our family from the ravenous clutching shadows of the darkest dungeon. And that's the intro to this game. It, it sets quite the grim tale. A unearthly abomination discovered beneath a family manor pulled forth by the kind of desire of that you can only achieve after a lifetime of hedonism and corruption. Tom, thank you so much for 14 heckin' months. A blazing stream is born indeed. Let's jump on into it. So I got the uh, I got the DLC. So we'll uh, I've played s about 30 hours of base game Darkest Dungeon, like four years ago, back before it got a lot of patches and a lot of DLC. So much of the content we'll be encountering uh, today is going to be brand new to me. So let's let's just play with everything enabled and see how it see how it, the game presents itself. Matched off from the game window? Cool, I can fix that. Because it's in the wrong... Probably because it's in the wrong uh, resolution. Make SRF a hound boy? Cool. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to turn off redemption for the names until I know that we've actually got enough to fulfill the requests. And, uh, see how we do. Max difficulty? Yeah, I do plan on, uh, I do plan on exploring this on Stygian. Seeing how that goes. Ruin has come. We'll, we'll take a look at what that experience is like for somebody less familiar with the game. Games in court increase the complexity and pressure for the campaign. Recommend for, for experienced players. Or sorry, Blood Moon? Is that what it's called? Yeah, there's Radiance, Normal, and Blood Moon. Blood Moon campaigns are not for the faint of heart. Expect no quarters and no forgiveness. You have a time limit for the overall campaign and a hero death limit. Which is Stygian with Crimson Court Naval. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Oh, 
you will arrive along the old road. It winds with a troubling serpent-like suggestion through the corrupted countryside, leading only, I fear, to ever more tenebrous places. Love the vocabulary. There is a sickness in the ancient pitted cobbles of the old road, and on its writhing path, you will face viciousness, violence, and perhaps other damnably transcendent terrors. So steel yourself, and remember there can be no bravery without madness. The old road will take you to hell, but in that gaping abyss, we will find our redemption. It's almost like the the descriptions that Wayne June ends up using to talk about things are as alien and uncomfortable in some ways as the the things themselves and it really captures the the atmosphere very well especially paired when paired with the game's uh <laughs> jilting and unsettling soundtrack Verana, thank you so much for the 300 bits game makes you feel anxious it's it's definitely intended to on some level all right, looks like I'm being thrust into a bit of a tutorial here. I don't know if this is standard for new save files, but the game seems to think I need it, so we'll be playing through it. We're currently in a room. Hooray for rooms. So here's our, um, here's the basic uh, interface screen of Darkest Dungeon. Your characters and the, the battle scene in front of you is shown up on the, the top half of the screen and then in the bottom right there's some awfully loud uh, awfully loud frogs in the bottom right we have our map which indicates the room we're in the layout of the overall dungeon uh, we can also tab over to our inventory, uh, which is an important uh, important uh, thing to be keeping track of as well. And then each character's stats can be seen in the bottom left. Uh, notably, our health and our stress are the two important ones, the, uh, the health resources for the character. Your heroes in Darkest Dungeon. Brigands have run up these lanes. Keep to the side path. The hamlet is just ahead. Have to keep themselves not only physically he healthy, but mentally healthy. Um, Dispatch this thug madness in and insanity fashion, and insanity are persistent threats in the world of Darkest Dungeon. Combat in Darkest Dungeon is turn-based. Click on a skill icon, then click on a target. Yep. Every hero has a, a myriad of skills that they can use in combats. Uh, we're starting with a Highwayman here, who specializes in making targets bleed, uh, as well as range attacks. We just try to inflict the breed there. And a Crusader, who's a, uh, a good frontliner, who also has some limited healing ability, I think. Just gonna hit our opponent really hard. Continue the onslaught. Easy to destroy combat. After combat, we find loot. Loot is good. Loot's what we bring back to the estate to uh, make tons of money. When exploring, we'll often find interactive objects called curios that we can interact with. Surely nothing good can come of a dialogue with the dead. Whenever you encounter a curio, you are given a choice to interact with the, with the object, not interact with the object or use an item on the object. Um, and uh, the choice of what you do is pretty important with these. Um, the game doesn't give you a lot of hints about what you're supposed to do with various curios. Um, it's usually something you wanna kinda look up ahead of time on the wiki. 
at least if you if you want to know the potential gameplay impacts of the decision you're going to make, which could be pretty serious. For example. <laughs> Fear and frailty finally claim their due. Cool. So that was a, that's a good highlight of the stress mechanic. Choosing to interact with that curio without an item gave 100 stress to the highwaymen. Um, and when you hit exactly 100 stress, your character has a mental breakdown. They become afflicted, um, which manifests as a mental affliction that will cause them to be unpredictable in combat. Probably there for, um, because we're on Blood Moon. Open, I guess. Send these vermin a message. The rightful owner has returned, and their kind is no longer welcome. Actually, did want him to go to the back line, so that works. Let's see. The guy is low bleed resist. Probably want to take out the one in the back first, if I can. So let's see. Our four skills are open vein. Each um, each skill. Uh, your adventuring party typically has four members in it, and certain skills can only be used in certain positions. The the four-person order of your party is a very, very relevant combat mechanic in Darkest Dungeon. Gonna keep this duel with vanilla names? Nope. When we when we gain the ability to rename them, we will. Immediately. Let's see, so I can hit both of them with grape shot if I want to. Half damage. Pistol shot does minus 15% damage. You have the same bleed resist, so let's. Oh, I can't open Bane. On uh, anything in the back line. So. I think it's wise to take out the guy in the back first. I'm gonna try that. All of the Crusaders' attacks... ...hit only the front line. Sling blow, stun, 100% base. This guy's got 50% stun resist. So, there's only a 50-50 chance we inflict a stun. Let's try it anyway. Resists, fair enough. Clear enough. So the Highwayman and the Crusader both have birthright to the manor. Neither of them do. Uh, I, me as the player, am the one with the, with the birthright. But none of the, none of the individual. I'm not sure what you call them. Heroes. Mercenaries. None of them have the birthright. Meat, yeah, fair. It's a good description of them. Please perish. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. When most monsters die, they leave behind corpses, which act as temporary obstacles and essentially fill the uh, fill the space held previously by that opponent um, in the battle formation. You can attack the corpses to destroy them. Um, or we can use certain skills to get kills without leaving behind corpses. And sometimes there are even skills that uh, interact with them more directly. Let's hit him with the sword. We're just rich in buying mercenaries and the gameplay is them making decisions on their own. I believe that's the gist of it, yeah. Monsters size has Bigger they no are, the harder they fall. Merit, unless inordinate exsanguination be considered a it's virtue. Food. We complete the requirements of a quest, we have the option to return to town at any time. We of course want to loot the room before we do that. Unless I'm not allowed to. Continue adventuring. There we go. Give me that chest. 
Bandit's trapped chest. Something doesn't quite look right with this one. Well, the highwayman can open it. It's trapped! And there was nothing in it. Well, fair enough. Alright, let's leave. Complete the intro quest. Yellow, like, fading hoop. Citrine. Love the descriptions of items in this game. So at the end of each little mission like this, there's a chance for your uh, mercenaries to gain permanent uh, traits, which can be either positive or negative things. So this highwayman is now permanently compulsive, suffering an in intense need to do something specific, which will cause them to do uh, certain things we don't want them to at times. Green tearing. I haven't seen anything on my end. But uh, I'll keep an eye out for that. Welcome home, such as it is. This squalid hamlet, these corrupted lands, they are yours now, and you are bound to them. I don't want to be bound to these lands. Alright, quest goal. Successfully com complete your first foray into the ruins, defeat the Apprentice Necromancer, the Sonorous Prophet, the Regular Necromancer, the Fulminating Prophet, the Necromancer Lord, the Gibbering Prophet. Defeat all these very long list of specific things. Oh my god, it's quite a lot of goals. It's quite a lot of goals. Cool. That's pretty much the goals for the entire uh, campaign here. Thanks. So, this is the Hamlets. Thank you for the help screen. There's a bunch of buildings that we can uh, that we can visit. Looks like they're almost all blocked for the moment. But we can look at the graveyard. Most will end up here, covered in the poisoned earth, awaiting merciful oblivion. One of the lose conditions on the highest difficulty is uh, that there's a limit on how many how many of your mercenaries can die. If uh, too many perish, then the, the evils of the Darkest Dungeon uh, win out, and your campaign is a loss. I have uh, I've only played maybe 20 to 30 hours of this before Unrecovered, about four years ago. So it's it's been a long time. been a long time. I've watched a little bit of it, too. Like, I, uh, I've i watched some from uh, from Dol Dolphin Chemist. Also, full disclosure, I have no intention of completing a playthrough of Darkest Dungeon. I want to set that expectation out right now. We'll be checking it out for some amount of time. Possibly more than one stream, but the chance that I finish a playthrough is almost zero. In the time, ancestors and the you will know okay, the this tragic lets me look at extent scenes. of my failings. Cool. Trinkets and charms gathered my from all the here. forgotten corners of the earth. We don't have money for any, either of them. So these are pretty whatever. If you could wish for one change, it would be for Wayne June to voice stuff and slay the spire. Heck yeah, Wayne Jun should voice, voice everything in every game. Women and men, soldiers and outlaws, fools and corpses. All will find their way to us now that the road is clear. Now that the road is clear. So we've got a Plague Doctor available and a Vestal available. And we can try upgrading stuff. But let's uh let's grab ourselves a what better laboratory witch than doctor the and a vessel battlefield. Every every time we complete a quest, I think heroes will be available here at the stagecoach. Uh, and we have the ability to upgrade it. So if I upgrade the number of available heroes, word is traveling. We don't get one immediately, Ambition right? Ambition is stirring in distant cities. No. We can use this. So we do have to do one quest before uh, before we can get more people. I 
There isn't much more we can do in town right now. Apparently we have to go on a quest. Cool. Yes, Boomer. Uh, I think I think the uh, Wayne June recorded unique dialogue lines for something like hundreds of uh, hundreds of different streamers. It's a, a really impressive thing that they did for just about everybody who played any amount of the game. Let's see, is it reasonable to go on a quest with three people? What are our quest options? A mecca of madness and morbidity. Your work begins. So the the baseline gameplay loop of Darkest Dungeon is taking folks from your roster onto quests, which happen in a variety of locations. Uh, currently. Currently, the Ruins is the main one available. Uh, there's also the Crimson Courtyard available as uh, part of the DLC that we have installed. Um, and I, I guess you're allowed to try to go down the Darkest Dungeon immediately? Is that even... Is it, would it let me try, I wonder? It's kind of cute. This is the, the final dungeon of the game. Uh, and you want to head here only after you are very much more prepared. I think the farmstead is unlocked, yeah. This is where the comet fell, apparently. But we only have one quest available, a short quest where the goal is just to explore some number of ruins. Well, we'll try this with three people, I think. Let's get our folks named, first and foremost. That glitch. Hello? The, the dancing. The dancing. So, let's see if I can find the... the queue of names that we've already accumulated. Okay, so first up was Dozy Lion. How do I rename you people? Commander, Those we lies. just received the support of another council member. I know a couple people had class preferences. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a lot of options, so I'm simply going to give them out in order of uh, in order of names requested. Coronacron, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the council. Enjoy the new emotes community and, of course, the newfound smug sense of superiority. M Ziggles. The Apprentice Compulsive Highwayman. The... There's no need for step-by-step uh, -step instructions, 039. I appreciate the enthusiasm, but... Uh, if you let me take, my th take things at my own pace, I would appreciate that. The Enhas. Our. Uh, wait, did that not save? Did not save. I was muted there. Sorry. So we don't have the Abbey unlocked. That's what I was just saying. Oh, I see why that happens too. <laughs> one of the one of the one of the keys I pressed when I was inputting the name there was my mute hotkey. Uh, I haven't. Uh, I didn't do a lot of uh, 
I'm not used to games where the where my mute hotkey has overlap with the game function. Yeah, underscore, exactly. Yep. That's right. Okay, so let's bring these four in What's this order. Actually, what skills do you have? Let's see. Judgment, Dazzling Light, Divine Grace. So you're mostly only useful from the back two lines. Preferred position third. But you, Ian Haas. Also preferred to this position third. Plague Grenade. Blinding gas, incision, holding papers. You'll be in the back line because of that. You work well as the second slot. Okay, so we want we want this order for our party here. Let us provision. The cost of preparedness measured now in. Before we go on each quest, we want to make sure that we have stuff. Blood. Uh, provisions. You're allowed to buy a whole bunch of stuff. Some of these are for interacting with curios. Um, others are essential provisions. We definitely want to bring eight food. Let's go with a full load of eight torches. Each of these provisions costs some amount of money, uh, as well as inventory space. And it's a, a delicate balance between how much is... The, the amount of each that you want to bring on a given quest does, does vary based on how long the quest is and uh, what kind of dungeon you're going into. Don't know enough about the ruins to know what I'm supposed to be bringing, so we'll just take this and see how it goes. I'm not expecting to play it perfectly here. Our first expedition into the ruins of our industry. Be curious. Be careful. And yeah, we do have the option of uh, letting the light levels go down. Torches are for control of how much light there is, uh, which is something that we we have some control over. We can reduce the light level if we wish. The more light that we have, the better chance we get a jump on our opponents. The less likely, less light there is, the better a chance we have of getting surprised ourselves, but also the more treasure you find, curiously. So... Welcoming darkness into your playthrough is a high-risk, high-reward uh, style, and uh, I know a lot of Darkest Dungeon, especially veteran players, uh, do choose to go without the light in a lot of cases. We might, we might try that out once I have some trinkets that uh, interact with low, li with low light stuff, but right at the start of the game, I'm probably going to go with uh, higher level light. So periodically as we advance through the dungeon... Um, Wealth beyond measure, awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. We'll periodically get stress on each of our character, each of our characters, as before. As that stress increases from uh, zero to one hundred, we get closer to suffering and affliction. And if stress reaches two hundred, um, then the uh, I believe the character perishes immediately from a heart attack. Let's see, these things are immune to bleed. So our uh, Highwaymen's bleed attack won't do much. In combat, our party of four characters here goes in a predetermined order based on the speed stat of that character. Um, everybody has a different speed stat, part partially based on their class and they're starting the uh, starting equipment that class comes with, and also modified by stuff like quirks or afflictions. Our Highwayman is bonus fast. Um, you do both Affliction and Quirk here, apparently, so they are super, super speedy, which is pretty cool. Just... fire down some AoE here. Okay, can we target stuff in the back with these two? Which Doctor has a number of uh, AoE skills. Play Grenade and Blinding Gas are both very good against uh, multi-enemy encounters. Can't do much to enemies in the front two slots, but does have this emboldening vapor spot we can give to our Crusader to make them hit harder. These have what? Very low stun resist. Just try hitting them both. 
use them zealously. Let us flee! Please stop stressing out your party members. Thanks. How's it going, Apple Tunes? Please tell you this will live on through YouTube? Um, I don't know how many inst installments there will be of this. If we get multiple installments, then, uh, then I will put it on YouTube. You can make them bleed with a specific loadout. Okay, that's true. 200% <laughs> bleed resistance and bleed immunity are not quite the same thing. But, uh, they're pretty close. Let's see, so we've got Dazzling right, Light, which does a little bit of damage. Judgment, which does a little bit of damage. And Elimination, which does a little bit of damage. But Judgment does the most amount of little bit of damage. The front one didn't go yet, so let's kill it. Another abomination cleansed from our lands. So that it does not get to take an action here. So, killing monsters and critting both, um... Both improve our stress. They uh, they're sources of stress relief. Whiff! How dare you! Continue the onslaught. Destroy. Give me the money. Oh, by the way, um, hit chances. I gotta talk about that in the next combat. Unlock strong box. What's in the box? Contents! Get a shovel, 500 gold, and two busts. Busts are one of the th four... three crest types, they're called. Um, a currency that's used to unlock stuff in the town. So speed is... speed is modified by a 1d6 roll, and then that's used to determine turn order. Makes sense. Rolling for initiative, as it were. Kind of similarly to Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, I think I think I think turn order is determined at the start of the round. Heirloom, that's the term, thank you. An heirloom type. Is this game worth the buy? It's it's um quite cheap on sale right now. Um I don't recommend this one like super enthusiastically. Um, but if the if the atmosphere and core gameplay loop seem appealing to you, then it's certainly worth a grab. Uh, if you like what you see today. Even the cold stone seems bent on preventing passage. Oops, that wasn't the right button. So I, I just chose to uh, I just chose to uh, do that by hand instead of using a shovel like I was supposed to there. Not what I meant to do. So that stressed everybody out. Yeah, it is it is possible to get fairly large rosters, but I don't think it's quite as required. A huge part of the game is definitely maintaining your roster of heroes. Let's see, so that is stun 100%. 25% stun resist, or light. 20% uh, light resist. 16 health. I think we're gonna go for the. You know what? Actually, let's um, just buff the Crusader here. Give some more damage. Passing the turn. Classic maneuver. Pretty easy combats in the uh, first quest, so I don't think we'll have too much trouble. Eleven. Let's see if we can finish that off. So this is something I wanted to verify. That hero two hit um, here in the in the bottom left, or sorry, in the bottom right. Um, is that number accurate in the current version of the game? Does anybody know? I remember reading something about this number being off by 10%. And I'm wondering if that's still true. 5% lower. 
So 95 is equal to 100. Okay, yeah, that's 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 about what I remembered, or something like that. That your your chance to hit is five percent higher than shown by the game. Why? <laughs> well, if that's true, then this is a hundred percent to hit, which is cool, I guess. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Listen, everybody out, dude. I don't like it so far. We're just jumping back into it, um, catching the first uh, like 20 minutes of gameplay after not playing this game for years and years. Swap Scorpion. When I first played Darkest Dungeon four years ago, um, when it very first came to early access, I found it a little bit on the repetitive side. And I'm curious to see if that is still the case or not. Am I familiar with Snorch Touch... Uh, torch Snuffing? I am, yes. Apple Tunes. I'm gonna intentionally keep the light level high for the moment, especially given the uh, stress levels of the party at the moment, but... I'll probably experiment with... Uh, lowering our... Uh, lowering our light a little bit later. Peaches and Cream Stuffs! Thank you so much for the four months. Twitch Prime support. I heckin' appreciate it. On you. No! Don't not be stunned. Executed with impunity. So our opponents left behind corpses, which means we we still can't target the uh, the back line with melee attacks yet. We can do damage over time stuff. In Radiance, may we find victory. <laughs> Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. More stuff. Hooray. Back in the correct order, everybody. Yeah, I hear uh, they're working on Darkest Dungeon too, and I'm really curious to see what lessons they learn from the development cycle of Darkest Dungeon 1 that make them want to, uh, and, and what changes that they make to Darkest Dungeon 2 as a result of that. So here's the overall uh, dungeon layout. Here's what we've explored so far. Our goal is to simply explore 90% of rooms. So we can go just in this pattern and uh, hit them all. We can leave one room untouched if we feel like we need to. I'll be keeping this for myself. Dozy Lion. You're a kleptomaniac. Apparently. I didn't realize <laughs> you came uh, came pre-equipped with kleptomania, but alright, alright. Let's go. Okay, we get to surprise the enemies, which means they go last on the first turn, so we got a chance to do some some damage here. Two bone soldiers and one bone arbalist. Pretty easy. Turn A over there. Um, skeletal enemies like this are super weak to blight. Looks like you're weak to stun, too. Let's just stun the one in the back. And focus on uh, hitting the front too. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Ouch, my face! <laughs> Describe better part of Valor. Better part of Valor. Every time you stun an enemy, they gain some resistance to that 
status effect for a, uh, a round. So there's a there's an anti chain stun mechanic implemented in the game, uh, and that works for you as well as for enemies. If you get your stun chance high enough, you still can chain stun. If you want to. Let's keep ourselves topped up here. Abatement. The vessel. Some of your characters will have in-combat healing abilities, but you're not allowed to use these outside of combat. Um, there is a disincentive to hang around in combats too long. If we stall during fights, um, there is a timer that starts ticking down, and we'll start uh, start finding our our heroes stressed out severely um, if combat goes on for too long. So optimal combat in Darkest Dungeon typically involves skirting around the anti-stall mechanics while making sure you get as much healing time in as possible. It's a little bit, a little bit gamey. Decimated. But for the most part, it works pretty well. The blood quickens. We got our first charm. Minus two to our dodge, but plus 20% disease resist. Dodge is... Is dodge a percentage? I actually don't know. What five? What like? What is two dodge a two percent chance? I'm I'm not actually sure. What is this? Is this a curio? Holy fountain. We put holy water into the holy fountain. Presumably, something happens, right? Divine benefit. Okay, that healed me and de-stressed. Uh, de-stressed. Uh, Mzigil's a significant amount. Good. 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 So periodically, especially when your light level is higher, um, we're given scouting information on rooms. Looks like there's treasure in here. And it traps this way. So let's go back over here. Oh, that's right, and then the, the, whether the party stress penalty kicks in is dependent on how many enemy spots are taken up, that's right. Like I said, it involves, uh, it involves knowing exactly what the stall mechanic rules are, and then playing around them, basically. Which, given that the game gives you absolutely no information within it about what those rules are, I don't know how I feel about that. Object of Deliverance! Delicious. When does the game end? Um, the goal of the game is to do three forays into the Darkest Dungeon, which requires a heck of a lot of training up your characters and uh, improving them, investing in them. Let's see, let's go for the Brawler first. I'm gonna try to do here. So he is bled, taking two damage at the end of his turn. I go for the plague on the back line here and miss. Three full clears. That's right. Followed by some kind of uh, boss fight. Even go, I actually missed. Let's keep killing up. They kill the corrupt heart of the spire to win, gotcha. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Oh, 
like that the, uh, the Vestal's attack is also a self-heal. So some enemies have uh, combat abilities that cause our own party members to reposition. Which can be pretty debilitating, as our, our ability to change our position in combat is limited based on the character. Some characters are mobile, like the Highwaymen can... As, as their turn, we can move forward two ranks or backward two ranks, but not all characters have that level of mobility. Decisive so that's 73 percent. This is 83 percent. This is 63 percent to hit. So we want to use, and this is 83. Okay, so we want to use open bait here. It's the most accurate. Our different abilities have different two-hit chances. Foolish and I'm looking at that in the, um, low and driven the bottom into the right mud. there. Heirloom chest, what's inside? Contents. Packs laden with loot are often low on supplies. Oh, there's a default party order button. I like that to return ourselves to the intended pathing. Uh, let's put the Highwayman in front. Highwayman has a good chance to disarm stuff, right? We know there's a trap somewhere along this hallway. Right there. Scattered traps will be visible on the ground as we approach them. Select a hero and then click on the trap to attempt to disarm it. Some heroes are better than others. Disarming. Also gets us a stress relief for the successful disarm. So what tips on what to use on curios? As I, as I come to particular curios, I'll, I'll probably ask about that. Uh, were I to be playing this off stream, what I would likely do is just open up the wiki and look at the entry for the curio. So uh, I, I will probably welcome that particular kind of uh, tip. The game kind of expects you to trial and error it, I think, on its own. It doesn't treat you very well if you do that, though. Loot! Ooh, lots of loot. Two busts and, uh, 750 gold. Let's see, I think we can eat food. Yeah, we can eat food at any time to heal a little bit if we want to. Recovering stress in the middle of, uh, dungeons is a little bit less easy to do. Occasionally you'll get a hunger event like this. The exertions of adventuring have grow produced a growing hunger amongst the party. When this event pops up, we either eat some of the food that we're carrying with us, and uh, that recovers everybody's health, or if we go without, we take max, we decide to starve within the dungeon, um, which it does immediate damage to all your heroes and stress damage. So this is this is an event that will penalize you severely if uh, if you don't have enough food. And yeah, somebody's got a quirk, right? Minus two speed, minus five dodge. Guy's tone deaf, so he can't hear tunes. The Vestal has bonus damage, but minus dodge. That's not great. Not great, uh... And, uh, stress faster. She'll consume less food. That's that's what's causing that. If, uh, the Vestal's above 50% stress, Maniac here, then they won't eat. And they have bonuses on the first round. Plus two to speed, stun resist, and evasive. Good, uh, good positive traits on uh, M. Ziggles here. Not too bad negative traits either. And then of course, Dozy Lion does bonus damage if the torch is above 75. We'll only pray for stress relief though. Works for me. Works for me. Cool. So I could continue adventuring. There's one more room we can check to try to get more loot, and I guess we will. Might as well. There's likely to be treasure in the final room. Yeah, this time we'll actually use the shovel. Click on the shovel icon to use the shovel. We don't take stress damage for doing that. There's another chest. Plus a more difficult combat against four 
opponents. Which could lead to some stress damage for us. The health damage doesn't matter here as much as the stress does. Health damage is, I, I think, restored completely between adventures, but stress has to be removed in town uh, at cost. Let's go for this Bone Courtier first. This one's the one doing stress to us. We want to kill them first. Therapy ain't cheap. Indeed it is not. Let's see. 10% stun resist. With blinding gas then. So one of the one of the really good things the witch doctor or plague doctor can do is uh Stun multiple enemies at once. It's is good. Let's up our light. Ringing ears. Blurred vision. The end approaches. of war can be healed, but never hidden. Healed, but never hidden. Masterfully executed. attack since the it would have killed the back line anyway. And then we get a little bit of damage on the one in the front. This guy's got a, a big shield. 25% protec protection. That prot stat uh, means that this opponent takes 25% less damage from all sources. So they're quite a bit more durable than their health would indicate. And they already have more health than the other opponents. Well struck. Hey, start Debbie, this is the first dungeon. Yes, that's correct. Checking out the game for the first time after many years without playing it. Do you have decent stun resist? Let's try it. Game. Protection does not reduce bleed and light damage. I think that's true, yeah. This is how a life is taken. I believe that is true. Do I have Color of Madness? Yes, I have both Color of Madness and um, Crimson Court DLCs installed for this playthrough. Or for this uh, revisit to it. This might is 85 base, 85 base, 90 base. This will be 5% more accurate, and they only have one hit point, so I should use it. Easy peasy. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. I checked out Chronarch. I have not Transuru. Contents are ours. Cool. More heirlooms. Let's get out of here. How do I know which character will take his turn? It's, uh, it's... Turn order is somewhat random, but it is determined by your character's speed stats. Um, I don't have a choice in which character goes in what order. So I simply, uh, take them as they, uh, pop up. Exsanguinating overconfident day. How's it going, Dog Barker? So we got a bunch of loot, a bunch of stuff. And a stun resist charm, sure, whatever. New traits for everybody. Dozy Lion is Weapon Tinker. Reduced upgrade cost to their weapons. Ziggle's got a fear of mankind, so they are penalized when fighting human opponents. 
And they ignore stealth. One hero per roster. Ooh. That's a powerful ability. The Maniac in a Mask has got combat penalties against unholy things. How unfortunate. Let me share with you the terrible wonders I have come to know. Over time, some negative quirks lock into place and become severe, which costs more to remove in the sanitarium. Oh, unfortunate. Tavern and Abbey are now unlocked, so we have ways to reduce the stress of our characters. Um, and there's more Fresh meat kegs, for hire. Cards and curtained rooms the promise solace to the weary and broken alike. Heroes relieve stress by taking part in the, in the Tavern and the Abbey. Experiment to find the best activity for each hero, depending on their quirks. Or look it up on the wiki. So, normally I would be allowed to... I guess we couldn't put people in the gambling hall in the brothel. For stress relief. Um, go to the stagecoach, though. Got another Plague Doctor, a Man at Arms... Two more Plague Doctors and one Man at Arms. I probably only want one more Plague Doctor. I don't think I need three of them? Although, how is Doug... How is Double Plague Doctor... As a uh, as a loadout, we don't have the ability to modify the skills they have yet. Let's see, are these both? No, they're not the same. This one has battlefield medicine, emboldening vapors, and a disorienting blast. Shuffle and stun, and clear all corpses. Interesting. I've never seen anybody play any uh, modded Darkest Dungeon. I didn't realize it had a big modding scene. It's completely viable to run in three Plague Knockers? Cool. I'm down. I'm down. Yeah, we're allowed to see the quirks too. Bonus speed up below half. Obsessed with acquisition of knowledge. And minus stress in the runes, but bonus stress at below half health. Obsessed with the paranormal. That's fine. Sure, whatever. Welcome aboard, all of what you. What better laboratory than the blood-soaked battlefield? As we send our heroes out on adventuring, they gain resolve XP, which gives them uh, levels up. Giving them level ups, kind of. Um, although most of the increasing in power for a hero comes in the form of paid upgrades to their weapons and skills at the guild and the blacksmith. Which we have yet to unlock. That's right, new names! Got more on the names list. So... The next three names that I saw that were in the queue were uh, Durzog, Zekov Dimitri, and SRF. Hopefully I'm not skipping over anybody who redeemed for a name there. And if I am, please let me know. But uh, let's give out some names here. Durzok, welcome aboard. Stick up to me, tree and SRF QWR. Come on, on board, everybody. Was that about a queue? Uh, I, uh, I had enabled earlier uh, channel points in exchange for heroes, which I'll open back up when we have more heroes to name. And yes, you can... when I when I open up names again, you... Uh, if you redeem channel points, I'll give, uh, within reason, any name that you input to the, to the field there or request. The running scene of Darkest Dungeon is huge. One modder became so infamous that he was hired to work on the Color of Madness DLC. Oh, cool. That's happened in a few games. Like, um, one of the modders for Civilization IV ended up being, uh, like, lead designer on Civ V, I think. So it's always cool to see when, uh, modders end up 
like super popular. The cobwebs have been dusted. The pews set or, uh, straight. influential in a game. The Abbey calls to the faithful. And cheat. Not allowed to gamble. All right. So can never gamble. Okay, so we'll get some... I imagine a highwayman is going to... Oh, put him in the brothel for some stress relief. 1,500 gold for a night in the brothel. That's a really expensive brothel. What kind of... What kind of company do you get with that much money? I wonder. This may sound like a strange request at first, but... Can you do this thing? Uh, Dozy Lion and the Unhas could use some stretch relief as well. We'll bring... I don't actually know what's best for each hero, but we'll, we'll try those for stress relief, see how they go. And then we have a party of four that we can bring on our next quest here. Buys you an entire week. I guess that's more reasonable then. Get like the the ho like, especially if you get to stay there like a hotel. That's that's a reasonable price to charge. All right, I think that's all we have. The comet's impact was felt here in the hamlet. The great impact toppled gravestones and kicked up a cloud of dust that covered the entire region. When it finally settled, an eerie miasma was seen to be spreading from the mill distorting the rules of time and space far beyond imagining. So we have access to the farmstead now. Um, which is part of the Color of Madness DLC. And I, I don't know how... I don't know how approachable that is from early on in the campaign. We'll probably stick to quests in the ruins here. We have access to both short and medium uh, length quests. Short ones are nice and quick. I've heard that doing short quests is just bad. I think something like Dolphin Chemist said that one time. Especially if you're on the highest difficulty, like doing, doing short quests is the quickest way to dunk your campaign. So we probably want to take a medium one. Healing skills for Herbalist, 4500 gold, 5 crests. Or the Book of Holiness. That sounds reasonable. This is on Blood Moon. That's right, Stark Devi. That is right. So, what are our lineup of skills? Derzak is... Got Plague Grenade. Disorienting Blast. Battlefield Medicine. Okay, so you definitely want to be in the back, Derzak. You want to be third, for sure. Although, you're okay in the front-ish line. So Zekov's gonna be... Gonna be in position two. Yeah, because you've got Incision and Noxious Blast. And then we'll put our... Manadar, Sessa Ruff, in the front. Bonus Stun Resistant, Bonus Protection! Hard Skin Manadarbs is pretty sweet. Um... Has a self buff for protection. Uh, retribution enables repost. Can give buffs. Bonus damage while guarded. So can guard and command. And then has a melee crush. Cool. Cool. The men at arms seem like a, uh, a really cool class. They're kind of battlefield commanders, providing tactical party buffs and being pretty tanky. So, is this the party that I want? Yes. Let's embark. This quest involves camping. On immediate quests of medium or higher length, we bring along firewood with us, which gives us uh, one camping thing. 
I think we want at least 16 food on a medium quest. Probably two shovels. Oddenum. Soothing tincture to ensure one's mind against the horrors of the dark. Interesting. And we'll take at least two stacks of torches. Yeah, I did check the Plague Doctor ability for being in this like second slot. Yeah, they've got, they've got uh, Noxious Blast and Incision, which will work from there. Better than the Vestal will work in the second slot, I think. It's not an ideal party, but it's an easy quest, so it shouldn't be too bad. Providing I, uh, at least one key? Okay, I'll, I'll take your advice on that one. I don't know how to spot secret rooms in uh, Darkest Dungeon. But we'll, we, we may be misprovisioned a little bit. <laughs> and I'm okay with that if we are. Pace out the halls of your lineage once familiar. Now, Boren. Yep, we've, we've seen the hero panel. Thank you. So, here's our dungeon layout. We have to explore 90% of the rooms here, so we can probably leave two unexplored. So, let's start up this wing first. Better to over a little bit than under. Yeah, probably. <laughs> probably. You lose out on some gold. Okay, here's a... Uh-oh. Uh We're just investigating. Who inhales foul vapors and has become bulimic <laughs> after interacting with this curio. Good job, Zekov. Bulimic. Minus 20 healing skills while camping. It's a disease. Cool. Very cool. Good, good job. Radiant light. Try to keep the light high. Let's see if I succeed at that. Okay, we got ourselves a room battle here. We've been surprised, so our order gets shuffled. That's not great. That is, in fact, a pretty bad start to all of this. It's a single target stun. We want to take out the stressors in the back. I'm more worried about them than I am the, uh, the health damage. <laughs> Run away! At first contact. Abort! I'm losing control of the situation. Bring the back two there. Grenade them again, just stack that blight. So, 8 damage per round for 5 rounds. Alright, so... Crush is just a basic attack. Guard an ally. A tribute. It's repost marks. I think it marks the man at arms. 5 act, 4% crit, bonus damage while guarded. Let's activate Retribution. Oh no, I target a specific enemy. Hold on. I'm targeting an enemy with this, not myself. Let's see if I can hit you. Nope. Please stop hitting the Vestal. She can only use Illumination. She doesn't do that much. Move her back into the second slot, which is probably where she belongs here. Looks like we lose a little bit of torch each round. Um, if I hit them once more with a Noxious Blast, you have 10 health. And taking 8, so one more... Or sorry, one more Plague Grenade should at least kill the back line there. Possibly the front line, too. Or damage. Whoops. I meant to, like, knife sort of them. But that'll kill both of the back line. That works for me. Stun you. Actually, 
want to move back one more? That was bad. Like Doctor. Slowly, gently. This is how a life is taken. Crits are brutal as they inflict a lot of stress on the receiving individual. Arms from taking more here. For you first. No one has died yet, and hopefully, hopefully, no one will be for at least a little bit longer. Ow. And the pain. The agony. Stop! Oh god. Please don't miss. Their formation is go. broken. Maintain the offensive. So we want to try to heal up the men at arms a little bit here. But we are of course taking taking damage while we do. Bad there. The blood. The blood is a special type of supply item. Any collected bottle of the blood will be retained in your estate at quest's end. They may be added to the provisions of embarking parties. The blood is rare. Spread it wisely amongst those in need of the blood. The call is unyielding. The urge is irresistible. Only the blood will quell this thirst. Hey Dark Lord of Roses, glad you found the guide. Not too many people, uh, not too many people find the channel through that. These days, not the most accessible kind of content. <laughs> but I'm glad it's still, uh, still finding its way to people. Here and there. An antique suit of armor stands amidst the ruins. Do I want to touch this? I probably want to touch this. Let's touch it. Great insight into this world. Yeah, Ruins Tactician on SRF here. Which means that they have bonus damage in the Ruins, which is where we currently are. So our Man at Arms is going to deal bonus damage for the rest of the quest, at the very least. Does that turn people into vampires? Not quite vampires, but uh, step. something a little worse, I think. That's how I would describe a handsome reward. Journal Page. task well performed. Snippet from the Journal of a Doomed Expedition. I now find myself back in the Warrens among the remains of my companions. My wounds are too severe to allow the completion of our, my, task. Thus, the desecration must resume another time. Curious, there's a ring in my pocket. Where it came from, I cannot begin to guess. Though it bears the sigil of the estate's ancestral owner. Very curious. Do I know about the Crimson Court DLC? I do, yes. The the thirst. How we can get infected with it and what we need to do once it happens. Do nothing but entertain? Well, that's a pretty valuable thing to do. Critical scouting success will sometimes reveal a secret room. Advance the tile marked with a star and press W or click to enter. 
Fabulous wealth and riches await those equipped with a key. Well, I'm glad we brought one. Because there is totally a secret room here. Rio battles. So there's hallway battles here. So our goal is to explore the rooms. So even though we know these rooms have nothing in them, we want to go to them. Okay, what is this? Iron Maiden. These can go badly, I know. I don't know what item you need to guarantee success. I'm gonna ignore that for now. And I don't know the way to view our trap chance. Trap, 20%. Trap disarm, 60%. Need herbs for success on the Iron Maiden, gotcha. 10% and... Twenty percent with bonus from resolve levels, so just choose lowest stress person then. Cool. Spider Web on the character will tell you their success as well. Stash heirlooms. Wealth beyond measure. Heck yeah. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy Spooters. alike. Spooters have low health. Not much blight resist. Four points around. Four points around. Kill the Spooters. Yeah, Spooters are not to be underestimated. That is true. Oh, I was not in the right order. Was I? I'm not in the right order. My wish doctors are incorrect. It should really just re default you to. Eh. There's a button for it at least. that we missed that one. But it's doing damage now. Compassion is a rarity in the fevered pitch of battle. My hero is bladed, thank you, yes. I've noticed. So these are both dead. You have stun resist. Dang it, Doctor. Doctor? By inches. Let's see, have you gone this turn yet? Is there a way to view if a monster has taken its turn this turn? Or do you just have to remember it? I don't remember which spider has acted and which one is not. There does not seem to be a turn order indicator anywhere. Oh, there we go. Actions remaining one. Gotcha. Okay, yes, there is an indicator. Good. Actions remaining one. So both both of these have acted. So it does not matter which one I lobber here. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own.
Come on, guys. I expect better than this from you. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Soothed. Sedated. Could like try repositioning here. I don't know if that's worth it. Back to it's the not. pit. Okay, that was fine-ish. As there we go. Mount, Back in the correct order. So too will resistance. So too will resistance, indeed. Uh, the rest of the blight damage goes. We're a little bit injured here. So we explored this room, now we want to backtrack back to the secret room here. We'll want to think about resting somewhat soonish. Wait, battle? There's going to be another battle on the way back? Am I understanding that correctly? That's not cool, if so. Oh god. That's not good. That's really not good. Gnawing uncertainty. Horror. The birthplace of dread. Stress damage over time, alright. Looks like a really easy kill, this madman. Very little in the way of defenses at all. Actually, blast and incision both only hit the front line. This is more accurate. This does way more damage. Of course it misses. Got 20 dodge though. Yeah, 20 dodge actually, not cool. Um, let's try to stun the back lines. That works. Dodges. Five percent chance. So try to get people targeting the uh, man at arms here. I'm not sure if healing is what I should be doing with the Vestal, but it feels important. Vestal does have a stun skill, yeah. Prevention is a pounds of ounce of prevention's worth a pound of cure or whatever. Aha! Well, that helps. All right, so our our maniac in a mess mask resilience has had their virtue tested and been not been found wanting. Uh, sometimes when a stress when a hero hits a hundred stress, they will be a virtuous instead of afflicted. Uh, their inner hero will unlock. Elevated state of performance will last until they suffer a large amount of stress or return to town. Confers stat bonuses and other benefits. So that will definitely help us get through this dungeon intact. Having uh, having her with buffs. Buff up the, uh, the dude bro here. So much stress. Alright, can we stun you again? So let's try to stun the... Oh yeah, we'll stun you. Did not work. How unfortunate. Uh, 
as the fiend falls. A faint hope blossoms. <laughs> Okay, that should take out the madman here. Start working on the other front line. My repost wore off. Cursed crits! It's a shame the post only lasts two turns. A lot of the in combat buffs are a really short duration. Okay, so you're taking eight per round at six health, so you're already dead. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. Get fresh oh, disadvantage. Going to die. Maybe we can Give even get no a heal off before. Uh... The blood they perish. No nope. quickens. Nope. 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 Get some stuff. Good. And holy water, which we could maybe use on a curio. That was still an unfortunate combat to uh, run across. Alright, I gotta know what's in the secret room. That means tracking shot is one use per combat, but lasts the entire fight. That's pretty sweet. Oh, where we currently are. Another battle spawn? Really? Oof. Oh, oh. not cool. Oh, not cool. Okay, just three maggots that we surprised? That should be easy enough. They are very resistant to stun, blight, and bleed all. Two damage, so they need one more to perish properly. Does seven to thirteen. Executed Actual with impunity. Squeezing some more healing here. A rave nibble. Nom 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 nom. What flick stun? Wow. Rude. Be gone, fiend. Nice crit heal. Good job. Yeah, I think we came out ahead on health that time. Victory. A little Not bit a more stress, though. Nonetheless. Oh, we want to. We want to cut our torch before we go into the secret room. Is that a thing we want to do? That would make sense. That would make sense. Ideally after campfiring. Okay, so our, our pathing then wants to be different. Sure. So in that case, we want to go down and around. We'll come back to it. This works.
Better nothing than a trap, I suppose, speaking of traps. 80%, 60%, 60%, 60%, okay. Mind that such missteps are the exception, and not the rule. The big oof. Probably want to rest kind of soonish. Even the cold stone seems bent on preventing passage. Another one of these. Looks like we're going to investigate. Sense the work of spirits. Spirit farts. Giving us tetanus. dark. I deliberately raised the torch levels before I came in here. It's unfortunate. Probably gonna have to camp after this fight. Feels right. Let's try to stun one. Cool. Great success. They buff to the man at arms and turn on our repost. Precision and power. Boop. Give him the boopins right back. So good. <laughs> Five percent stun. Stun you. Stun you. Injury and despondence. Set the stage for heroism or cowardice. The wounds of war can be healed. But never We're on. This is the second ever expedition of this campaign, Dark Lord of Roses. So I haven't even like gotten. I don't even have the ability to change out my character skills yet. We're just working with what we have at the moment. There hasn't been a whole lot of thought, for example, given to party composition or skills, because I'm not allowed to yet. Incision. Hero drops to one health, they are on death's door. So they're not automatically killed, but they now have a chance to be killed by any damage dealt to them. Which is not so good. Let's see, you are taking two with that nun. And as long as they're on any amount of health, they cannot die from a hit. Victory! Foolish horrors. Brought low and driven into the mud. Don't have enough room in my inventory. Oh no. 75 gold jade, four crests. This card a citrine to fit four crests. Could also toss some of these supplies. Oh, we don't need the, uh... Journal page here. That's for sure. Well, that's for sure. 
don't know what else we like. I don't know what the the varying heirlooms are worth comparatively to one another. I don't think I need this 375 gold jade though. All right, let us set camp. Use to camp. Make sure to have enough food for the meal phase, or girls will starve. Gathered close in tenuous firelight, an uneasy companion. So when we get when we camp, we get two things. We get to first we eat, which heals us and restores health, uh, heals us and restores stress based on how much food we want to use, or um, we can also then spend we get a certain number of rest points that we get to use on skills that can do either combat buffs or um stress relief let's go for the feast we got more than enough food again we've got the that stress eating quirk that is uh causing the vestal to not consume food at the moment so we can we can quite easily go all out here giving a stress and healing relief to everybody so let's see so now everybody has skills we can do. Have talk to reduce stress, leeches for heal, blight, and disease removal. Self-medicate, minus 10 strength, heal, remove blight and bleeding, and bonus accuracy for four battles. Vestal can reduce stress of it a party member. All companions get buffs for several battles. And stress reduction based on whether they're religious or not. Um, can I see whether someone's religious? Is it just based on their class, whether they're religious or not? It's based on the class, gotcha. Okay, we're leaving one light. Sanctuary. That's a nighttime ambush. Mortality debuffs. Mortality debuffs? So the Vestal is the only one religious here. Gotcha. All companions, 10% damage for four battles. Bonus protection and damage for four battles. Maintain equipment. Remove bleeding, remove blight. So if only remove disease with a cure. So we can have, uh... We can have Zekov Dimitri remove one disease from themselves. That's pretty good. And we can also use diseases to remove... Di leeches to remove diseases. Beautiful. Let's at least do this. Cure to bulimia and tetanus. Easy game, easy life. Does anybody else have any diseases that we can leech away? No. Okay. So we have 11 time units. Each of these has a cost. Uh, we would like to heal... We'd like to heal a Maniac in a mask. Mortality debuff if a character experience, experience death's door. So this one. This is a mort mortality debuff. And so uh, this, this skill will heal our Vestal for half their current health and reduce stress by 25. If I understand that correctly. Also, does all companions include self? Is it is a more important question. I guess let's find out. It does not. As it turns out, it does not. That's all right. We learned something. We learned something. Uh, let's maintain equipment on our man at arms. And then use leeches for a little bit of a heal. Just for a little bit of a heal. This leeches shall purify your blood. Would say party for all members, gotcha. Can anyone carry it too? The way is lit. Can anyone the carry like three shovels? We require only the strength to follow it. Knock you up a little bit since we have extra food, apparently. So 
we're currently here, we want to... We've been a circle now. Well, a square, I suppose. That's not my default party order. We do have another shovel, right? Two might have been one too few shovels. Secret room counts as a room. Really? Then that means the 90% number is actually lying to me, right? It's the one that heals me, right? Give that a little bit. Apparently they can still hit us from the back line, good to know. Oof. Stunned and moved. Come on, men-at-arms. Supposed to be more durable than that. Supposed to be way more durable than that. Such a terrible assault cannot be left unanswered. Three regular rooms unexplored. Yeah, that is not 90%. <laughs> it's not what 90% means, but all right. Getting my butt handed to me in this fight. No ill will can snuff, snuff out this sacred flame. Huzzah. See you later, NG. Thanks for dropping by. Yeah, you can hit her. That's fine. Too many decisions to be made on each each turn of combat. They um, a lot of the the success or failure of Darkest Dungeon comes in the the preparation, from what I've seen, and then like setting up a, a strategy with your skills, your equipment, your items, your characters, your traits, all that sort of stuff, and then the actual turn-based combat is mostly executing on that strategy. From what I recall. Yeah, combats usually go with killing the backline quick, and then we recover from the damage the backline did. Trick of the light. While, uh, while kind of stalling the remainder. That sounds about right. Ruby, ooh, and another journal page. 
A full pack often attracts unwanted attention. Day seven, we tangled with some unruly louts. Raven called them cultists. Ferocious and clumsy. Sounds pretty accurate. Yeah, it's 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 always struck me as a little bit odd, uh, Dark Lord of Roses, that like so so much of the your success or failure is indeed decided in the Hamlet, but the vast majority of the actual gameplay is done in the dungeons. Alt bookshelf. We can burn this, right? I don't remember what I'm supposed to use on these, or uh, if it's good to read a bookshelf. Do not burn the books. Knowledge is important. Alright, we'll have ourselves a nice little cozy read. Knowledge within forever changes the hero, making them deadly. Bonus 2% to the crit chance of uh, SRF here. Excellent. Most excellent. If you like stress bombs, you can burn. <laughs> hmm... If I like stress bombs, I could have just walked into this room. Oh, we're we gonna lose the virtuous here. No, good. It's bad though. That was really bad. Kill that back line quickly here. Suffering has prepared me well. Just like mom used to say. Okay, let's have crappy stun resist. Let's stun one. wants to ask me a question. Finish that one off. Stop tempting me. Bad for my health, don't you know? Judgment to the back line here. It perishes. Okay, I guess there was no need to actually stun that one. It's fine. Well, that's fine. Pain. A singular strike. Plonk. Yeah, crits, crits are really nice in this game, since they provide stress relief in addition to doing additional damage. So it, it seems like investing in player crit is uh, particularly worthwhile. For any class, since heals can crit just as well as uh, attacks can. Push on to the task's end. And give class-specific buffs, so even cooler. 
Alright, so I, it's... We said I could leave three runes un unexplored, so I can just go straight back, fight this battle room, leave these other three empty. And, uh... Or I could even avoid this battle room, potentially. Explore this room instead. And then go back this way. Grab the secret door and leave. Since that counts, apparently, as a room exploration. Sure, we'll do that. Keep the light levels high, though. In Radiance, may we find victory. It's in the box. Loot. Their journal page. I don't have room for you. Gotta get rid of this food. We must know what's in this in this torch sconce. A fortune. Okay. okay. Waiting to be spent. You can, you can do that. Uh, you're too high stress. We have you try it. Trap. Cruel machinations spring the to big life oof. with a singular purpose. A big oof. So light is fading. But the more the less light there is, the more loot we get. A torch hotkey. T for torch. Cool. E is for torch that's good enough to me. Clicking this also works, so it does. Alright, lots of little convenient ways to click on stuff. Okay, we got one more battle standing between us and salvation here. Let's see if we can get the drop on our opponents by having the light levels high. More stress. Excellent. Just what I wanted. That sets for post, even if I miss. Stun here. Got him. For the old gods. Skulls for the skull throne. Okay, then make sure with with the stun this enemy is now dead. Let me focus on finishing the front line. Here. 200 stress on a virtuous person simply makes them lose the virtue and go back to zero stress. So they don't uh, they don't perish or anything. That's good to know. Very good to know. Too, nice. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. Who needs torches? Not us. Not us. Okay, so secret room, we shift click to reduce the torch. Darkness Black closes pitch. in, haunting the hearts of men. Cool. 
So that does complete the quest. We're supposed to use a key on this object. A chest untouched for centuries. There's a locked compartment on the side of it. Loot treasure. Laden with loot are often low on supplies. Puzzling trapezohedron. Colors shift and change with the light. 3,500 gold each, and more of the blood. A lot of gold. We are about to get out of here, so we just ditch supplies. Uh, so we can get rid of the key and anti-venom? Yeah. Then we leave. The shifted corridors and sloped walls of our ancestry are beginning to feel familiar. Excellent. 17,360 gold and some heirlooms. So we get the Book of Holiness, which is an uncommon trinket. Is that what these are called? Giving us minus stress, which is pretty good. Wield phobe. So SRF is now bonus. Takes additional stress in the wield. Suck of Dimitri will not pray or flagellate for stress relief and maniac in a mask. Receives more healing. Nice. That's a good one. Though good long one. years may seek to separate them, action and consequence will invariably. Have their dreadful reunion. Hear ye, hear ye. Intolerable clouds of mosquitoes and other less identifiable pests continue to descend upon the hamlet with maddening persistence. Illness and irritation abound. A new courtyard quest is available. You get more than four? I think the limit is like seven. Is that right? Maybe not. Might be, might be four. All right, let's pick up a... We have, let's see, Raster Size currently 7 out of 9. We can pick up a couple new people here. Break would be welcome, but I can go without. In town, we'll only, only gamble. So we've got some people who need to be stress-relieved. Ziggles was distracted and misplaced our stun charm. Ziggles recovered 46 stress and is no longer fearful. Blacksmith and guild are now unlocked, so we can upgrade weapons and stuff. Excellent. Most excellent. Let's see. Let me put this on Dozy Lion for now. I'm not going to think too hard about where stuff goes. Just going to do it. The bellows blast once again. The forge stands ready to make weapons of war. Weaponsmithing level one. Okay, so we have to unlock the ability to weaponsmith stuff. So for eat, beads and what is it? Beads and crests. Let me upgrade weapons. Letting up weapons upgrade to level two. Uh, armor smithing upgrade and the furnace reduces the cost of those things. Put trinkets only before going. That would be tedious on a level I'm not willing to deal with. So no, I will not do that. There are mechanics in Darkest Dungeon I'm simply going to ignore because they bore me. The game does does throw a little bit more uh, task mastery micromanagement at you that I'm willing to tolerate some of the times. And I'd rather have fun than play perfectly, especially Make in a no game mistake. that's we will face ever greater designed threats. like this one. Our soldiers must be ready. So the guild. Guilds allow me to upgrade skills. I think unlock new skills. Yes, we can now unlock new skills for our characters. Which is quite important as well. 
So let's let's uh, sort out stress relief first, then we'll right, let, let's grab new rosters. Let's see, an antiquarian, two of them. What does the antiquarian even do? What are your skills? Agile. Never, I've ne I've never used this character, so I have no idea what their gimmick is. Let's see, festering beepers inflict blight on anybody and debuff their blight resistance gets down back to buff self with bonus dodge bonus speed and blight skill chance fortifying beepers heal one give the target bleed and blight resist or protect me force guard by ally <laughs> i like that that actually kind of works with the men at arms right She finds nice things when interacting with curios. Okay, so she's a uh, get lots of money style character. We'll try one of them out. Try one of them out. And another highwayman. Which is... Fine. Highwayman, sure. Let's recruit these two new folks. One highwayman. Way Evasive. Evasive. Are these both fragile? Persistent. Righteous traits for a rogue. They're both fragile. All right, we'll take this one then. And I'll open up the name requests. She searches. Only got where two spots. Others will not go. And sees what others will not see. So the channel points thing should be enabled now. If folks would like, uh, name I, 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 you got it. It's gonna be the antiquarian. One I, I, I coming right up. Very kawaii. Maniac in a mask. I need some stress relief. Flagellation brings absolution. Uh, let these two go to the tavern. These correct postings? No idea. Just slap them on in there. Money to be made in the gambling hall. Okay, that's right. You only gamble. Well, you're gonna have to wait a week. You're gonna have to wait a week. So we'll probably send Dozy Line, M Ziggles, the Enhas, and uh, yeah, 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 on board. So let's equip these folks. Let's unlock the ability to upgrade in the end, weapons. Every plan relies upon a strong arm and tempered steel. And upgrade the longsword on Dozy Lion, and we'll do the same for M Ziggles, upgrading the. Weapons on them, making them have a higher base crit chance and slightly higher base damage. Make them yellow? Sure thing. Yellow. Yellow it is. The guild. What can we do here? Can upgrade our skills as well. Great to rank two. Make it ten percent cheaper Summers as well. may fall, but their knowledge lives on. So we get a five percent smite accuracy increase. Also unlock a battle heal, holy lance, move forward. Huge damage against crits and bonus damage to unholy. Or inspiring cry, which is stress healing. That's right, crusaders can be stress healers. Which is pretty cool. I like the idea of a stress healing skill. Only have four active combat skills at one time, that's right. Aspiring Cry 2 doesn't heal any more stress, it just increases the torch by one more. That's ridiculous. 
upgrades to 22% protection. Sure, sure. Setting blow gains. 10% chance higher stun. How much money do I have? Plenty. Okay. So we can, we can just upgrade like most of these skills. Uh, I don't want to be able to activate the repost. So let's take that. Um, let's see, grape shot's fine. Point blank shot only from the front row. Back one, knock back. So I like a uh, duelist advance point blank shot combo quite a lot. Great pistol shot too. Just putting some investment in here. Um, do I have any sort of actual combat healing? Doesn't look like it. Let's see, nervous stab, do some damage. Flicked blight, buff yourself. Debuff target with minus accuracy. Heal one to one. Buff target with three dodge. Jeez, this character. <laughs> one point around. Man, this character cannot do any damage, huh? Alright, that's fine. Let's see how that goes, shall we? Doesn't feel like it's really worth unlocking any skills or upgrading their current ones. Or any of that. Yeah, I have to actually change their loadout. Yes, we will let's actually do that correctly here. Um, so I want both Duelist Advance and Point Blank Shot. For sure. Then Open Vein. Lost at minus 33% damage. Trucking shot. Self bonus, accuracy damage, and crit. Lose the pistol shot, I think. And have this set of skills. Doesn't really let them hit the back line, but they're gonna be a frontline fighter here. And to create a special, I want spoilers on how they work. Uh, not for the first mission I take them on. We'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. Alright, I definitely want, um, for a Witch Doctor in the back, I want Plague Grenade and Blinding Gas for sure. And we want those upgraded also for sure. Those skills are top tier. 21%? 1% more damage for upgrading Emboldening Vapors? Why would I bother? Why would I bother? I'll take Battlefield Medicine, level 2. As well. So we're going to use this set of skills. Put them in the 3rd or 4th rank. For sale, 5,000, 3 crit, 1 minus 1 speed. Leper only. Sha. Sha. Alright, that should be everything we need to go on another little adventure here. Before I do that, this is a... we've been live for two and a half-ish hours now. So I'm going to take a short break, refill... go to the wheel now. Take a short break, or refill my water, stretch my legs, and when I return, we'll be back with some more Darkest Dungeon. Speed buff on vapors, yeah, I think the, the, the subsequent ranks increase it more, but the, the level 1 to level 2 upgrade seems pretty pretty useless to me. Alright, I will be right back. Thank you for your patience, everybody.
Alrighty, everybody, I have returned. Thank you so much for your patience. I mean to swap out... I'll put Bulwark of Face for Stunning Blow here. Perfect. Dozy Lion in the front. Norman in the second front. Wait, not Norman. Um, Ziggles in the second front. And, uh, ay 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 in the third slot here, doing, well, who knows what. Don't matter none. So you have the action to explore further into the ruins, um, which will probably unlock a boss combat, or we can make our first foray into the wield on a short mission here. Different dungeons have different tile sets, different... Uh... Oh, somebody sent in a name request for Norman? So they did! Make Norman a normie. Done deal. Done deal. Best to, ba ba best to pick a mission based off the trinket being provided. Plus five act to melee skills. I like that. Minus 10% stress. Or move resist and plus plus twenty percent protection. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, Schwartz, you had a uh, name queued up too, and I completely skipped over you. I'm so sorry. I knew there was somebody that I'd forgotten. As soon as we come back from our next quest. Uh, we'll recruit another uh, another person, and you, your name will be on them. Apologies for that. Let's do this one. Uh, although, I don't know that this team is equipped for a medium. Quite frankly. Let's try it. I mean, with an Antichorian, what's the worst that could happen? Smiley face. I don't really have any healing on this team. Smiley face. You know, you know, yeah, it's probably not actually good. Idea. Let's go to the wheel then. Shorter quest for a, a party that can't heal. I have one to one healing, I do. <laughs> I sure do. Uh, I don't know what we need in the wheel normally. In terms of, uh, Turio interaction stuff. Hmm. What should I bring? Is that a, an easy, useful, generic wield layout, layout of, uh, stuff? Yeah, food is like healing. We can just bring tons of food. Though I think there's a limit to how much you're allowed to eat, right? Or is that a different game I'm thinking of? Anti-Venom. Cool. Bring. Bring three of those, just to be sure. And... one everything else. Probably fine. It's probably fine. Corruption has soaked the soil. We're here to complete 100% of groves. room battles. Let us burn out this evil. The wheel is overgrown with fungus. And there are... Rabid infected creatures around many a corner. Immediately infected with rabies. Cool. Terrifying. 12 hit points each. We do 5 to 10. Get the one in the back, right? Not much bleed resist. ACK, this is on uh, Blood Moon difficulty. How quickly the tide turns. It's immediately going kind of poorly. Feel one to one. Try to kill one? Nope. Oh. 
what you get for trying to make me stressed out. Jerk. Let's see. Very low stun resist on both of you. Easy. That AoE stun is so good. So very good. Plus 15% damage, but minus 10 to our accuracy. So, uh, that's a feeling. Let's see, that's 100 base accuracy. Does huge damage. Decimated. Excellent. Antiquarian did something good. Unforeseen. Hooray! Unforgiving. Soothed. Sedated. Come on, guy. 75%. Weakened. Obliterated. Oh yeah, these guys have a lot of dodge, right? They do. This might is 90 accuracy. The stunning blow is the highest accuracy. We'll go for that. We can even get a little bit more healing in now. Find debuff charm. Bonus to debuff resist, but minus two dodge. Kind of whatever. What if I want the highwayman to start in the front? No, I want the rope, the repast to be active. Pack's already been looted. <laughs> the kleptomaniac crusader is just going wild. <laughs> uh, that's so funny. That's so funny. Bring the Antiquarium and the Crusader's like, nope, I'm just gonna take it all. Not a chance. So these, um, we want to take out these frontline first. These things can multiply and really just give us a really bad time. Another one so I would like falls. them to be gone immediately. Kill the bodies they leave behind too. Gross. Another abomination cleansed from our lands. Perform beyond one's limits. Yeah. Okay, so the bodies aren't going to turn back into uh, the wounds of war. Can back be into living hit, slimes, but never hidden.
Yeah. No. No dodge. How dare you? Hoping to avoid this one getting in action. It's all right. I think look, 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 I had a most excellent holiday season. Thank you so much for those kind words and well wishes. Hope your holidays were great as well. So I'm just going to be trying to stress heal the Crusader a little bit here. Stop missing, that would be great. Slowly, gently, this is how a life is taken. Formation is broken. Maintain the minor antique. A minor collectible. Sure. Are we? Dig it Nature up. herself, a victim to the spreading corruption, malformed with misintent. Got ourselves a grave. Sh shallow grave dug in haste. We get a bonus if we use a shovel. I saw that there was another obstacle, so we don't want to use our only remaining shovel to dig this up, probably. At least not until the mission's completed. And we have a shovel left, right? Because so the there's an obstacle here. Though I don't know if there's a uh, thingy on the other side of it. Spooters. So I can mark the highway bed. Let's try this. You block. I do that after I repost. So. Now we're sacking. Be gone, fiend. A little less active yet. Uh oh. This is on Blood Moon difficulty. That's what we're on currently. So very likely to kill. Back to the pit. The pit. The pit. Executed with impunity. Well, we won't be doing that strategy again. It did not work out so well. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. Definitely not be doing that again. Okay, so I don't have to go past this obstacle. Commander, we want to use one the of our most valued. Support of the area. It says continued support of the XCOM. Zavonavaz, thank you so much for the six months of Twitch Prime support. Greatly appreciate that. It was continued council funding. Six months already. Out. How, how fly the time does. Indeed, indeed. Wait, I, 
knew that trap was there. I just failed to click on Mind it. Mind that such missteps are the exception, and not the rule. It's probably fine. Antiquarian, get extra torches. Hey, actual extra torches. So every time we're finding antiques, that's something the Antiquarian is finding. We're only finding these because we have her. That's what I'm currently understanding this to work as. It'd bring extra food, so I'd be able to heal people. Hey, Magnetic Core! The core... the core game is, uh... is still the same as I remember it, uh, about four years ago. If you really like the atmosphere that Darkest Dungeon sets forward, and you really enjoy this base gameplay loop of delving through the dungeons, then this game is worth checking out. In order to, to in order to like this game, you have to enjoy inventory management. You have to enjoy the combat, and I think you need to enjoy the atmosphere of it. Those are the requirements, I would say, or or those are those are the things that that will be really beneficial to enjoying this game. I really much enjoy this game's uh, atmosphere. Um, I find the combat okay, but I don't find it like truly compelling, personally. Yeah, occasionally terrible, terrible things will happen, too. Do not fall. Did I miss a Curio entirely? It's not on the- oh, I did. Totally did. Well, pardon me. So I need to do one more damage to you. Very well. Confidence surges as double the enemy I like it. Good work. I actually like that I can apply Mark As to one of my own people with the Antiquarian. Alright, there's a tree back here. Oh, this. Uh, this is what Anti-Venom... Is it Anti-Venom or Herbs, actually? One of these two will benefit... Or is it maybe Bandages? Holy hell, I don't remember. <laughs> Anti-Venom? Cool. Protects against poisonous sap, allowing us to find the sapphires hidden inside this tree. That's where you hide them. They go in trees. Just how it works. Let's restore my party order. This is actually fine, though. Uh, these have decent stun and very good blight resist, so we're gonna go for, uh, blinding gas. Fungal artillery. Yeah, I got one of them. That's... that's reasonable. Uh, these fungal scratchers have low bleed resist and 33% protection. They're pretty bulky, it looks like. Thank you. Find the marked! Oh, we don't want to mark our own people in this fight. They have a specifically targeting a mark thingy if they do. For the artillery inflict mark. Well, that's rude then. That is definitely, definitely, definitely rude. 5 to 11 with this, huh? Try to stun you then. 
of dice. Deeply unfortunate. I do not see this going well. Don't want to mark against spiders either, good to know. Very much good to know. Okay, you are going to die now. Not too afraid of the blight damage they deal. Seems like this is a fight where you want to go for the front line first. At least with this part of composition we do. Can I get back? Where? Yeah. A death by inches. Dying as possible. Hey, Mia. Unacceptable. So you can use the battlefield medicine skill to keep his blight from hurting me too much. A devastating blow. Thou art judged. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. Oh, battle medicine heals uh, on the self, does it? Didn't realize that. I realize that. Yes, self and target both get cured. Neat. All these like super dinky heal skills. Our, there's our warning for the, uh, to speed it up, <laughs> where we're going to start suffering penalties. So let us indeed not toy with this one. Turns after the warning, gotcha. So I have time to at least do this. Hey, crit heal. Stuff. So you're dying at the start of your turn, right? Yes. Soothed. Sedated. Is the weapon that cuts on its own. Give me the stuff. Uh, we can equip the debuff charm on someone. Unlock strong box. Strong box. It's explicitly unlocked. Become hooked on a loose leaf tea as of late. I had a I had a friend long ago that got uh, super into uh, super into tea. It's quite a quite a rabbit hole you can go down to. Exploring the wild world wor wild world of tea, like the fiddliness of it even more. Just fun to play around with the infusers and blends. 
And you feel nice and fancy doing it. Heck yeah. Amen to that. I don't have any patience for that sort of thing, so I'm the bag tea kind of guy. But I also only really drink tea when I'm sick. I'm a coffee, uh, coffee person most of the time. It's a key to double unlock it. It's in the box. They're a rare antique. We done? We know there's no more room combat. I might as well? Are there treasure rooms without? Well, let's find out. But yeah, we want to go back to the uh, grave, right? We do have a spare shovel, too. At least we want to go to that grave. Though it will inflict some stress and give us hunger events. Combat! Easy combat! something. Fight. This expedition at least promises success. Yeah, I see that trap this time. There you are. 90%. Curious Talk. is the trap maker's <laughs> 90 art. 90%, you say? His efficacy unwitnessed by his own eyes. 90%, you say? Darkness closes in. Oh no! The highwaymen. The hearts of men. The highwaymen. How rude. Oh well. Driving out corruption is an endless battle, but one that must be fought. Alright, what do we got here? Cedic. Well, only bris the visit the brothel and obsessed with self-worship, but bonus for speed on the first round for IAM. Yeah. I'll take it. I'll take a it. A fresh irritant to some. A sanguine memory to me. The town is abuzz! Crumbling stone entry to a forgotten labyrinthian guardian has been uncovered. The discoverer sadly has perished from innumerable insect stings. Concern rises. Stress reductions and activity stress, stress reduction activities in town are currently a little bit less effective. Zekov caught prop more out of a night of debauchery than memories only. Now has syphilis, giving them huge penalties. How unfortunate. We have the sanitarium unlocked though. So we can start to remove negative quirks from individuals. So that's nice. We can treat that syphilis with, uh, dangerous injections. Remove negative quirks, treat diseases. But we can also use it to reinforce a positive quirk, locking it into place and preventing new positive quirks from displacing it. We can do to three positive quirks per throw, apparently. Treat that syphilis. Trace my trust in your gnarled, warty hands. Amazing. Let's see. What else would we want to... There's so many negative traits we could work on uh, dealing with here. Let's work towards unlocking the boss in the ruins here, I think. Is the goal. We can still get those heavy boots. Perfect. Perfect. So my team for that is going to be Dozy Lions. We'll swap out Mania. Actually, I think this will be the team. Let's see. 
your disease with the fits. Remember who I equipped trinkets on. Equip that. No. There. What is disease resist? That'll help. That'll help. Uh, do we want to unlock different skills for the Vestal? Yes, we want the party heal. Definitely want the party heal. Party heal 2 to 3, make that heal better. Let's see, this is the range stun. That's pretty good. Self heal is also good. I don't like illumination, so we'll swap out... We'll swap out Illumination for Divine Comfort on Maniac here. It's also Mace Bash and of Light. Bonus versus Holy, giving a damage and accuracy bonus to self. Interesting. Interesting. Are you there yet? Yes, Schwartz, you are indeed. As we can, let's see, we're at. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Wait, what? Nine. Grab a Hellion. Hellions are cool. On a speed of Torch Blow 26. Not allowed to gamble in in town. Hellions are pretty offensive uh, frontliners. That I like quite a lot. Our barracks are full. And fix that. Read the barracks. Then recruit. Barbaric rage and unrelenting savagery make for a powerful ally. Schwartz, welcome aboard. I think I spelled that right. New names, excellent. Uh, do I want a leper? Sure, we'll take a leper. This man understands that adversity and existence are one and the same. Lepers are also very powerful uh, frontline fighters. Uh, they wear a mask to hide their deformed self. And okay, so SRFs is not going on a venture here. What can we remove? Light sensitive. Might be nice to get rid of. What about Durzak? What do you have? Curious. I don't like these curio interacting with traits. Before we're all going on a trip? Sure. Does firing someone count as a death in this mode? I have no idea. I don't think so. I think they have to die in combat, but I could be completely wrong about that. Do I want holy water? Sure. Make sure I've got enough provisions for this one. Let's go. Pace out the halls of your lineage once familiar. So our party's a little now, bit stressed. Orin. Hopefully that's not going to be too much of a problem. Did I put people in stress relief before I left town? I don't think I did. Our goal here is to explore 90% of the rooms. Stack of books. Desiccated and unremarkable books. How uninteresting. Can just hire a group of four for one mission and then fire them instead of trading them. Yep, 
Yeah, I think that's completely doable. Uh, brand new folks aren't that good at getting money, though, I don't believe. So it's it's probably not one of the better money-making strategies, I don't think. I do believe it is allowed, though. See you later, Cozy Turtle. Thanks for, uh, thanks for dropping by. Give me a torch. A handsome reward for a task well performed. Give me three torches. Three torches. Spooters! Surprise spooters. Best kind of spooters. Another one falls. Dead surprise scooters. Let me try to use the Crusader to uh, stress heal here. During easier combats. Got the one that had yet to act. I could have shot the one in the front too, but that one had uh, had taken its turn already. Inaccurate spooters. Back to the pit. Here we go. This is actually working really well. My overly comfy chair relic has been added to your mod. Oh, cool. I'll have to check that out. Curious to see what the uh, relic art ends up looking like. The match is struck. A blazing star that stunned is born. Stunned scooter nerd. I think ultimately one of my biggest complaints with this game ends up being the, the in-combat heal and especially stress healing dynamic. Like, we're encouraged to spend minutes of real time uh, optimizing these little combats to get our stress and health values as optimized as possible. And I'd rather just be able to handle it out of combat. Strap! Welp. That face. Sad face. Saying something about collecting? What are we collecting? Why don't I use Kill Skeleton Team for that chest? Because I don't have it memorized that I need to. Is that a thing I should be using on this? Yeah, it's a little weird, like, um, Radiant Difficulty takes away some of the, like, micromanagey aspects. 
but is also the easiest difficulty. Watch your step. So there's there's no way to tell the game that you would like to have less micromanagement, but more actual combat or game difficulty. They they are intrinsically linked. Read a book. Glittering gold, trinkets and baubles. Read a book. Paid for in blood. Radiant lightless. <laughs> I like that. The the almost oxymoronic quality of it. That might be that might be a cool way to play, actually. Micromanagement equals difficulty. Micromanagement equals gameplay in uh, Darkest Dungeon. If you if if it's something you enjoy, you'll love this game. Ah! Literally my entire face. Does 6 to 11, they have 8 health, open vein does 6 to 11, okay. 6 to 11 either way. They've all acted. Executed with impunity. Why they're so fast, I'm not sure, but it's horrifying. For the team heal, then. The wounds of war can be healed, but never hidden. Rip. Oh. Guess I took a little bit too long there. Fair enough. is broken. Maintain the offensive. Well, no. Another abomination cleansed from our lands. As the fiend falls, a faint right. hope. This pretty seems to be doing pretty well. Here I say extremely well. <laughs> That's awesome, Tom. Just put it together. Coffee keeps you up. It does indeed. Hey, Sasuke. We're doing uh, well so far. We're gearing up to fight our first boss pretty shortly. I should be going for Blight before stun or not. No actual clue. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. Destroyed. Looks like it worked out pretty well. Try to stun them again. 
second time playing Darkest Dungeon. First first time playing Darkest Dungeon in about four years since the original uh, open ac early access release. The wounds of war can be healed. Seeing uh, what the updates have added to it. I have no quarrel with you. Why do you have a quarrel with me? Slow death. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. Okay, I gotta kill this quickly before it summons allies or whatever. So apparently I'm supposed to use a key on these. He unlocks a hidden compartment, giving me stuff. Most excellent. Okay, I can leave two rooms unexplored. There's not a whole lot of reason to go this way. Obstacle, a couple curios, a battle. Let's go north. Two crit focus highwaymen dealing massive damage, both single target and AoE, and critting so much you never had to worry about stress. Yeah, that's one way to do it. Definitely one way to do it. Uh, that's always what I found, Maniac in a Mask. For uh, for anybody who's considering getting into the game, if you if you like exactly what you're seeing right now, then this then the game will work for you. But the gameplay loop doesn't change a whole lot as you get further and further in. There's not a huge amount of additional complexity, like you, the numbers will get higher. You'll fight um, enemies that are more powerful but similar looking to ones you encountered before. And uh, the strategies to approaching them are pretty similar. Excellent like playing Longmore, but it, it's not as long as a Longmore playthrough. It is definitely not as long as a Longmore playthrough. <laughs> Almost nothing is. Thankfully. I think Lungmore also feels more different between the early and the late game than uh, Darkest Dungeon does. Wealth beyond measure. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. I know they've added a whole bunch of, like, different bosses and unique mo monsters, too, like the... Not Scavenger. There's, uh, like, some wandering monsters you can encounter that are super deadly. Nice try, nerds. Dang it. Just emboldened the Crusader here. A wee bit. So we're doing 10 to 19, so this is almost guaranteed to kill. Eradicated! Very much so. Very much so. I want to take out the enemy's stress inflictors. Depending on whether your party's better at dealing with stress damage or regular damage, your enemy targeting priority will be different. Let's 
savagery. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. I don't think any team is good at handling stress. Probably, probably fair. Like, is there, you can do like uh, jester builds or something that uh, work pretty well, right? That'd be something. Foolish horrors, brought low and driven into the mud. Okay, we have. Where are we headed? Okay. Hundred gold. Oh boy. Back the way we came. It's nice that disarming a trap successfully is a uh, stress relief. We have firewood, although now I have little enough food that resting is probably not really a good option. But we can uh, we can try resting to restore some thingamajig. Is it bandages or anti venom? Medicine? Medicine on these? Herb? Yeah, we don't have any of those. Crits are so devastating compared to uh, compared to regular hits. So you're like disproportionately negatively affected when they happen. We have bonus monster crits with our light level. It means we'll get more loot, so I'm kind of okay with that. Stun these nerds. Dunking my highwayman. Please. The wounds of war can be healed, but never hidden. Cheat engine with speed boost is the thing. Excellent. Never a good, <laughs> never a good sign when mods have to add this that. Council is pleased right? To see our continued support of but definitely nice to have. Especially if you uh, if you play a lot of this game, I'm sure that'd be really nice. Ugly Wombat, thank you so much for three months of Twitch Prime support. Heck, could appreciate it. Heck, could appreciate it. It's really I just want to end this fight, right? Get another turn, what? Rude. A trifling victory, but a victory nonetheless. If only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. The rest. We don't get any uh, stress reduction, but we can use campfire skills to reduce uh, reduce stress a little bit here. Oh, 
party minus 15 stress. Yeah. The zealous speech. Let's encourage the Vestal. You feel encouraged yet? Perfect. They are upon us. How oh, unfortunate. Please don't crit me too much. Or stress me out too much. I very much not appreciate that. Oh boy. Good. Nobody can hit anybody in the dark. Fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. Absolutely fair enough. To take this party immediately on a boss run after this, so let's try to keep the stress low-ish. That definitely helps. As does that. Unnerved. Unbalanced. Sure, you can go three times in a row. It's fine. I don't mind. Of safety. Got the great ruins belong to us, and we will find whatever secrets they hold. Cool. So, Dozy Lion is now resolve level two. Bonus penalty to. Critical hit if they're below half health, but bonus scudding chance in the cove. Ziggles is a, gets additional stress in the wield, but has bonus accuracy, crit, and damage on the first round. Wow. That's a great one for a uh, highwayman to have. And the Enhas is a stress faster if they're bo above 50 stress. They don't need anything. A wash in blood and delusion. He bears the burden of a thousand lifetimes. There are some who believe that only a litany of blood and suffering can cleanse sickness in the land. Here is one who will do his part. We grab ourselves. Oh, it's a flagellant arriving? Are they in the stagecoach? No. They're not on the roster. What do you mean, here is one who can do his part? Oh, I see. There is power in the blood. They actually click on For them. those with the fortitude to pay the price. This is with the DLCs, Unique Nick. So the Flagellant is uh, one of the DLC classes, I believe. Sickly Ophobe. Let's see. Flagellant. Man, that's a huge amount of bleed. Four points around for three rounds. And then lowers target's bleed resist. Reign of Sorrows, hitting the back lines, inflict lots of bleed and minus bleed resist. So this character can bleed like crazy. Exsanguinate. Even more bleeding. 
itself. Bleed. <laughs> Even more bleeding. Okay, bleeding. I get the theme here. They bleed. They just bleed. Two uses per battle, only usable below 40% health. Heal 130 your max health. And then... Wait. Heal one-third of the target's max health? This is not very clear. The huge heal. Heal me and someone else. Okay, that's what I thought. It's possible... Can I target myself with the heal too, so I heal myself and also still myself? Stress minus ten. But plus ten stress to self. So you, you pull 10 stress off a party member. Has to be somebody else, gotcha. Suffer. Clear mark to target, transfer bleed and blight to self. <laughs> yes, so the, this character is all about bleeding and suffering. They make their enemies bleed, and they take the pain of their party members upon themselves. Pretty metal. Hey, Ramlord. Thanks for the follow. Hello and welcome to the stream. This is our first time checking out uh, Darkest Dungeon on stream. My first time playing it in like uh, four or so years. Seeing how the game's development has changed. Let's see. That's low resist 73. How does that compare to other people? 5% higher? Is that it? And then plus 6% when Suffer is active. Considered one of the best classes, I believe it. They seem like they're a good pain management kind of character. With some role, comple role compression and versatility to them. So you need to go to the gambling hall, right? Life is a gamble. Um, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Sasuke, cheers! Thank you so much for those 2,000 generous bits. I greatly appreciate that. You're so welcome for the Darkest Dungeon gameplay. Uh, thank you and everybody else who voted for uh, Darkest Dungeon in the uh, December community poll. We'll be doing another community voted game next month, by the way, since the, that goal for the stream was reached a couple days ago, actually. Uh, in the interest of full disclosure, December has been this stream's most successful month ever. Um, and there's a myriad of reasons for that, but the bulk of the credit belongs to you, the audience, those who watch and support the stream, which uh, is something I am incredibly, incredibly grateful for, truly. So thank you, everybody, for enabling, encouraging the diversity of content and letting me continue to do this as my full-time gig. I am working at my dream job currently, and that's thanks to all of you. When the flagellant falls below 40% health, it receives a buff for bonus damage and crit. Ooh. And then even more bonuses if he gets to death store. Wow. And then in the, if he dies, <laughs> even more stuff. Okay, so lots of hidden powerful stuff the Flagellant does. I like that. Might have to start like building up a second team. Right now, I do want to take on this team. They're, they're well enough equipped. Um, actually, we can upgrade them a little bit. So let's, let's invest in that. At home in wild Survivalist. places, she is a stalwart survivor and a strict Okay, so we can now train campfire skills. Thank you. Cool, but we want to do stuff here. So I don't have enough deeds to go uh, to upgrade weapon smithing again, but we can get armor smithing unlocked and upgrade the armor on everybody who's about to go on this next mission. So it gives us five base more dodge and seven more health for the chainmail. Yeah, that's huge.
Beautiful. It's not like we don't have enough money. So, kill the Necromancer Apprentice. A necromancer is performing unspeakable rituals in the shattered halls of your ancestral home. It must be stopped. Members on the right, yeah, the, um, this bar that says 0, 1, or 2, that's the resolve, uh, resolve level, it's called, or the, the character level. It goes from 0 to 5, and it's essentially how strong the, uh, or maybe it's 0 to 6. I think they added a 6 level. Doesn't give me any deed, just crests and busts. And we get the Hellion only Hell's Hairpin. Huge bonus to crit and accuracy if torch below 25. Hey, that would encourage us to try out uh, try, uh, a little bit of a torchless content with, uh, with Schwartz. I like it. I don't like it. Let's provision up for this. I'm sure, we have plenty of food. Um, do I want some herbs? Definitely want some keys. Probably three of them on a medium. Three shovels as well. And then maybe. Oh yeah, torches are a thing, huh? Lots of provisions. It's probably enough. Let's go. Mastery over life and death was chief among my early pursuits. I began in humility, but my ambition was limitless. Who could have divined the prophetic import of something as unremarkable as a twitch in the leg of a dead rat? A devil walks these halls. Only the mad or the desperate go in search of him. The mad or the desperate. So I, b I believe the necromancer is guaranteed to be in this room. So we can just ignore all this if we don't want to go. And we can always go, after we beat the necromancer, we can go back. Um, to the earlier rooms, I believe. If we want to. Always oh, in the fur furthest room from the start. That's what I thought. That is what I thought. Watch your step. I was scouting. Please to scout. Please to surprise enemies. Higher chance of killing one. All right. More advanced, more accuracy. It's ninety-five percent in either case. Let's get our boss going. Be gone, fiend. Impressive. Another one falls. Compassion is a rarity in the fevered pitch of battle. Could kill it. This thing has three speed. No idea how much my own character has at the moment. One speed. It's probably going first. Whatever. Another five uh, stress heal that we could have gotten off the Crusader that turn. To the books! Stress! Stress is in the books. Got ourselves a big guy. Okay. 
a dodge penalty? Sure. Uh, we want to get some KOs first. Before we try to do any healing at all. 23! That's a big number. bit under control where I can. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. Their formation is broken. Perfect. Maintain the offensive. This expedition at least promises success. Promises success, that's a good thing to do. For our first boss of the, of the uh, campaign. Right? That's what you want. If only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. Blood-soaked pages torn from a journal. They are sleeping. I'm kept from slumber by a distinct stream of whispers, as if carried by the currents and waves of the sea. I have not told them that most of my flesh have sl has sloughed off, revealing a strange silvery membrane. Keep myself covered. They questioned me when I ate the meat raw at Camp Fall and found my response difficult to understand. I suppose it would be best to explain my condition when they awaken. Then they can be convinced of my urgency to leave and find aid in the hamlets. Sounds like somebody was having a bad time. Pretty desolate so far. What is this? Decorative urn. Doesn't holy water work on this? What my brain is telling me. An 039 is confirming it. Holy water! Dissolves the ashes and Before valuables remain inside. Waiting to be spent. Most excellent. I like me some valuables. Give me that stress relief. The darkness holds much worse than mere trickery and boogeyman. Stressful book. Found a secret room? Oh, I totally did. Well, we'll have to go back for that. The light. The promise of safety. Ow. Mind that such missteps are the exception. And not the room. Not my face region. Yeah, we'll probably camp in this room. Wealth beyond measure. Oh, deeds, we needed those. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. Fighting commits. Put stress on him. It's the last place I need it. Then you're late. 
back to the pit. Taking out the one that hadn't gone yet. Usually a good idea. sequel and then it missed <laughs> because of course it did executed with impunity there we go continue the onslaught Destroy them all. That bites. We got the jump on him. Good. Hoping that would be a kill. But we can finish it off with judgment before it goes. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Um, smite is 8 to 14, might get a kill. Let's try the stunning blow. I can stun that one too. Not. But I almost got there. for the guy that's going to retaliate. Brilliant idea. I want to get five more stress heal if I can before this fight ends. I'm supposed to rest before I open the chest, right? Because it opens up more room in the inventory. Huddled together, furtive and vulnerable. Furtive Rats and vulnerable. in a what maze. Kind of combat bonuses do we have? Bonus damage on range skills. We're not frequently using those. Prevent nighttime ambush. Give everybody. Stress. Pretty protection. The Crusaders religious. Okay, we definitely want to give. We probably want to prevent an ambush. And just reduce everybody's stress with a zealous speech. And then three is enough time to encourage somebody. Basically the same. Dignity is thy greatest weapon. I have no more skills I can use for one. Can leave the spoil screen open during this. I didn't know that. 
The way is lit. Eight. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. Gambler's Charm. 15% max health, but less death blow resistance. Cool. That to you for now. Definitely like death blow resist or uh, max health. You have more max health, you're less likely to need the death blow resist. Nothing must be left undisturbed. Glittering gold, trinkets and baubles, paid for in blood. A hundred stun resist, okay, so it's kind of worthless to try. Kill them and uh, try de stressing. I get that critical heal. Good stuff. Mount, so too will resistance. Towering, fierce, terrible, nightmare made material. This is the Necromancer Apprentice, first boss. And opens up with a pretty rude uh, start. So the Necromancer has 126 health, no dodge, pretty good speed. Um. Yeah. 75 stun resist, 20 blight, 20 bleed resist. So quite weak to bleed in blight. So one of the most effective ways for us to stack damage up is to stack that. Although we can't uh, inflict any such things until the Necromancer is further back. Uh, Plague Grenade doesn't work on the first two rows here. So let's get some buffs going on our Hydra Man, I think. He's going to be the bulk of our damage in this fight. I just want to be, like, dunking the minions down a little bit. Compassion is a rarity in the fevered pitch of battle. So we could try st stunning the necromancer is really unlikely to work. More accurate hit. Crusader's got a bonus versus undead. Is that passive? Or just part of their skills? Bonus versus unholy. You unholy? You are unholy. So the Crusader will do bonus damage to that thing. Good. Let's get that bleed going. More bleeding. Reanimated bones? How can such a thing exist? How oh, indeed. We just stun this thing? Yeah, let's just stun this thing. Or we could whiff. Also an acceptable outcome. I have no uses for running out. I didn't realize emboldening vapors had a limit, actually. I did not notice that until literally just now. Good morning, Flannel Violin. Okay, there we go. Necromancer's a little bit further back. We can start with the Blight now. Uh, and I can keep attacking too with uh, my Repost skill. Definitely want to be taking down the boss. The minions are of secondary concern. The 
especially when we can kill them like that. Up to Ascension 5 and Heart Kills, Grats file Lanel. That is no easy feat. Five to nine, okay, that won't kill either. Ah, so close. Your number's a little bit down. Uh, looks like you need a heal. This is going reasonably well. Beans from the pit. Shall not have me. Annihilated. Oh, this is the play that time. Must it all end in such blackness? Asking an excellent question. Decimated. Uh, we could clear out some bones here. I think I'd rather just de stress a little bit. Bosses only on uh, 15 health. 5 health. Dead. With no living sinew to actuate them. GG. These Not too bad. Bones finally fail. Not too bad. Plus four dodge, minus one speed. Sure, whatever. Um. Here's. Not much about having minus speed. You're already slow. Okay, we got a secret room, so let's head back to that, although it is a long... Actually, quite frankly, if there's any combats in my way, I'll probably just leave. We'll see. Is there not? Hey, we got some trinkets after the loss. No real treasure, though. I'm expecting more money. And we could explore those rooms in the early, uh, the early part, too, if I want to. Well, we'll at least go for the secret room. Despite the spooters that stand in my way. Dang it, spooters! the spiders. Don't want any of that juicy spider milk. It's healthy. That's all I've heard. A momentary abatement. Oh, that's probably why there's a limit on that. Infinitely reasonable buffs is uh, infinitely reasonable stalling. Got a shuttling victory. Cute. But a victory nonetheless. Cute.
No one has lived to say it's unhealthy. It must be so delicious that they die. That's clearly the most, the simplest explanation. Let's go find some things to kill. The name of the game. Though the name of the game is also Darkest Dungeon. momentarily anyway. Darkness closes in, haunting the hearts of men. Great treasures. Or puzzling trapezoid dodehedrons. drop here. 100 gold. Definitely drop anti-venom. We'll equip the charm on somebody. Thank you. Makes inventory space. So the stuff we found in the secret room is just a, a huge amount of bonus money, which is quite important. Like, literally more than half the money we got on this quest was from that secret room. Unholy Hater. Bonus damage against Unholy minus stress. Cool, Unholy Hating crew, uh, Crusader is really, really good. <laughs> That's excellent. Minus 4 speed on the first round. Well, only flagellate for stress relief. But does bonus damage in the wield? Cool. A fresh irritant. The song. Hear ye, hear ye. A sanguine memory to Should me. we check out some of the... Are we in a position where we can check out some of the DLC content? You kind of want to look at that. I could even take the, the same crew out again. Let's see, what's available? And check out the farmstead. Short to defeat all enemies. Or we can go to the courtyard. Beat three thronging hives. Thronging. Can't gamble, but you can only gamble? Oh no. <laughs> You're right. You can't gamble, but you can only gamble. You're a, a you are addicted to gambling, but everybody knows that you cheated it, so you're not allowed anywhere in town, pretty much. So you're just not allowed to have stress relief whatsoever. The oof. Well, fortunately, at the sanitarium, we can cure you of the fact that everybody knows that you'll cheat at gambling. Therefore, letting you gamble again. I don't really know how that works. But that's what we're going to do. <laughs> like, I, I think it is better to remove the gambler, but I think it's more hilarious to, to treat him enough that people forget he cheats. Let's do it. <laughs> oh, we can remove and lock at the same time. I didn't realize that. Well, too late. Too late. We tortured the cheating out of him so you can ease it. Open and honest now. Too true. We got here. Light skill, crit speed, same stuff as last time. Same stuff as last time. Let's just take this crew out at one more time. 
uh, and try out one of the DLC. Should we should we check out the courtyard? Figure out what all this what what all the buzz is about. Get it? Is the bugs shameful locket? Whoa, that's a strong plus forty five percent virtue chance and plus stress on the highwayman. That's pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy. Invitation. I don't get that locket? What do you mean I don't get that locket? Why is it listed as a reward if I don't get it? What do you mean I don't get it? Oh, that's for beating the... For beating the first boss? Because the the first this is just the a short activate three thronging hives quest. I I'm well aware of just how ridiculously large some of the Crimson Court dungeon runs are. Um, by the way, if you if you have this game uh, with the Crimson Court DLC, do not go to the Crimson Court without looking up ahead of time the area maps that you're getting into. Otherwise, you will have a very unpleasant experience, probably. Or you'll, more likely, you'll spend about 20 hours doing one mission. We do get this locket on the first mission. Gotcha. And this'll, this'll unlock all sorts of other fun stuff. Let's go to the farmstead then. I don't know what I need here. Take one shovel. One key. I'm not allowed to bring food. Interesting. Shard Dust. You used to tap into otherworldly power, but be beware its other effects. Don't need shovels or keys here. Just, just combat. Whatever. Blight had struck the harvest again that year, and the miller was desperate. He came to me, hat clutched tightly in filthy fingers, stinking of sweat and manure. Seated comfortably in my observatory, surrounded by telescopes and other delicate apparatus, I recognized his misfortune as an opportunity, and I agreed to lend him my expertise. Expertise. A light in the sky last night, a violent impact, something. Struck the old mill. Oh no, not the mill. Farmstead's miasma, minus ten... Percent healing received, plus 10% stress. Good luck to us. Do I... Begin. So we're up against farmhands and a foreman here. Skill chance, plate duration. So, 32 hit points, reasonable resistances. These are resistant to blight, but don't have a lot of health. So I risk getting repost by trying to blinding gas these nerds, but I think I'm going to do it anyway. Okay, that didn't work. The repost didn't work, rather. Send a repost enemy, they don't hit back. Okay, gotcha. Hey, Sutured. Even though you own this game, you can't get the fun out of it. It is repetitive grind. <laughs> um, I won't disagree with you on that. I have mixed opinions about Darkest Dungeon myself. Uh, and the, the amount of repetition that it, it puts towards the player. I don't, for the full disclosure, this is my first time playing Darkest Dungeon in about four years. Uh, hoping to come back and see what's, uh, see what the post-release content has added to the game. But if, 
if you find the core gameplay loop of Darkest Dungeon tedious, I don't think you're missing a whole lot. That is, that is how you'll feel about it. Um, and it may not be a match for you. It is possible to mod it, I guess, to uh, to help deal with that in some way, but you're treating the symptom and not the cause. That makes sense. Sixteen. We'll uh, finish it. Off. Destroyed. Heated foes will swiftly be replaced by waves of despicable reinforcements. We have to en endure this onslaught without pause or hope or respite. Repeat with no penalty at any time. And this quest has a kill meter. So this is this is going to be a lengthy combat, where the goal is to get the meter to fill up, I guess? Cool, we'll see how that goes for us. Pristine Aberration. Another one falls. Do I heal when killing enemies? Or is that just what I get for the Crystalline Aberration? Kill. It's not clear. A powerful blow. But missing your reposts, sir. Formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. They do indeed keep coming. Class mods help you mix up the combat. And some difficulty mods. That's uh that's totally fair. I fully, uh, I fully encourage everybody to play uh, games in the way that they enjoy it most. Different zones definitely have like different. They have different enemies, which um, naturally have somewhat different difficulties to them, or different matchups against particular classes. I think is a little bit more accurate. And to, to be clear, in single-player games. Uh, I encourage everybody to play however they want. Multiplayer games is a wholly different story. <laughs> Two damage per round for five rounds. Let's get a plate grenade off. If we can do anything here. These things resist blight pretty well, but uh, not well enough, it seems. Your heart will go explode. Come on, man. Not making me labor so much. Are you okay? <laughs> Stop missing. Please. how much I should be trying to kill the one in the back. I guess we'll find out when I succeed in it, eventually. So the seeds. He's planting stress. Stress crops. I don't like it. Do not like it. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Cont 
continue the onslaught. Destroy. Man, you got nothing to buff. What are you gonna do? What will you do? Another abomination cleansed too? from our lands. You got a horse. Okay, I feel like the, the health damage is more of an issue than the stress damage right now. Oh god. Don't be doing this. the stress damage. Oh, I'm still gonna die. We rolled really low on our speed this round. Does mean we get to take a lot of actions before they go again, probably. is a rarity in the fevered pitch of battle. Trying to kill you! It's not working. So our Highwayman... I think our Highwayman has rabies, maybe. Yes, they have rabies. Stealth monster? Oh, the horse has stealth now. Does this labor not cease? As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. The wounds of war can be healed, but never hidden. Seeing blow to body and brain. Oof. The big oof. It only goes up when we actually kill crystals, that I would believe. Kill the horse first. That thing is super dangerous to me. 50% stun resist, I'm gonna go for it. Damn. Oh, those are super dangerous, apparently. That's good to know. Don't ignore those. Injury and despondence set the stage for heroism. Cool, I'm gonna leave now. Or cowardice. Not learn a thing you think you know. Indeed. So that needs a really well equipped party from the looks of it. Glad we glad we went I there with the people we did. Long absent in the sunken faces of passers by. A glimmer, glimmer of, of hope. hope. So they are all stressed out to heck. or whatever. 
Ziggles likes the prostitution, though. All right, let's do at least one more run today. Let's try a low light run with uh, Schwartz and that unique trinket that we have. Very rare. Bonus crit and accuracy if torch is below 25%. And we'll take, um... What's SRF up to? Still being treated, looks like? Cool. Yeah, if we're gonna go on a low light run, we might as well, uh... Might as well make it an antiquarian low light run, right? Of course. Why would we not? Schwartz has a wicked hack. If it bleeds, bleed melee, breakthrough, which targets the first three enemies. He buffs self though and bleed out. No yop though. Barbaric yop. There's a big, big stun that hits the front two lines. Let's at least unlock Barbaric Yop, because that's a heckin' skill at a half. And we can remove Bleed Out. Let's see, that's plus 20% damage. That's a really strong thing. The Hellion's gimmick is that she does self-debuffs a lot of the time. Do I really need Wicked Hack if I have Yop? Do it like this. Um, I'll take this. Intimidate only works in the very front. Chop and hew. Bonus damage on melee skills? Wow, on a uh, leper, no less. Leppers hit really hard, but aren't very accurate. Pretty crazy. And yeah, Azeroth, I think your guy with the boots will be great. We're gonna give the boots temporarily to the leper, I think. Just for this one, one little jaunt. So 20% less damage taken. Um, and then we can bring double... Yeah, screw it, double witch doctor or whatever. We want to change their skills up a little bit. Sure. So many doctors. Too many doctors. Way too many doctors. So we're probably going to bring Durzuk. Let's see, I like the... Yeah, I like the blinding glass... Gr blinding glass? Blinding gas play grenade combo. Although maybe I should use disorienting blast. Instead of like... Battlefield medicine. I like that. So we'll do a... Let's try our first foray into the Warrens. And we're gonna do this one with no light. An exploratory sortie into a mad realm of tunnels. Meet the enemy in battle, and then fade to safety with newfound information. Just a short little short little jaunt into a place we've not been. Wister Zak I'm bringing, right? Yeah. Perfect. Not a lot of healing, but hopefully we won't need it. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Make sure that we actually have the the trinket equipped on the Hellion. Perfect. Let's go. Definitely want some food. No need for torches, which means more room for loot. No need for torches. Take one more key. Uh, a couple of things. That looks good. An endless parade of pigs! Sounds delicious.
They breed quickly down there in the dark. But perhaps we can slay them even faster. Even faster. That's the goal. Terrors may indeed stalk these shadows, but yonder, blood but gold. Nice trap dodge, dude. In the dark. Rack of blades. Is this bandages? Bandages or herbs? Don't remember. Bandages, cool. Dex our hands during a search, we get a little bit of loot. Nothing spectacular yet. Squealing of pigs. The darker it gets, the louder the squealing. Pile of bones. Don't know what I need on that. We'll pass that on the way back. Dodging traps in the dark. The champion. Oh yeah, and we have an uh, antiquarian that I completely forgot about. What do you got? Loot! Antiques. Delicious, delicious antiques. It's weird to me that you have to select the antiquarian. It should just be, as long as they're in the party, it should give a bonus. It's bizarre to code it any other way, from my perspective, but... I guess they do how they do. Doink. Oh, we finally got hit by one of those. Ancient traps Bear right now. In wait. Oh, this is definitely herbs, right? thirsting for blood. Yeah, give me that stuff. Delicious, delicious food. surprised. This is pitch black. Two carrion eaters, which have huge blight resist. Actually, huge resistances to everything. Um, one swine drummer and one swine wretch. Let's get the leopard to do the defenses here. Drums of debilitation. Gross vomit. Delicious. Who's that tutorial pop up? And why? So this will push her forward. And do some truly significant damage. Munch. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. Did take battlefield medicine? Well, that was a mistake. can only hit the front two rows. Let's clear some space here. I was supposed to remove blight or whatever. Thrums of doom! So much stress. Go and throws a hammer. Hello, hello to you as well. 
a momentary abatement. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. I did that wrong. I brought food. God. <laughs> 36 stress. Self preservation is paramount at any cost. And set a spring picnic. Something, something. I don't know what the worst of that was. It's my first time playing this, uh, second time ever playing. First time was about four years ago when this game first launched into early access. Kind of checking out, seeing what's different about it since then. Not playing with any mods or self-imposed challenges, currently on Blood Baron. The slow death. On Seeing what the, the gameplay loop is like at its baseline. Curio here. Sacrificial stone. Stone used for ancient barbaric ritual. It's mostly bad. Well then. Obviously the leper will touch it. Sinful bloodthirsty quirk removed. Just a good guy now. All around. Good stuff. To leave with. Wealth beyond measure, yeah. awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. Loot the bones. Antique. More of the blood. The blood. And I have never enjoyed the uh, combat, like the random reshuffling of your party. It does benefit to have a more mobile party as a result, but. Gosh dang, is it annoying. Yeah, the, 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 the figs in the background aren't so loud with Torchless on. It's actually kind of horrifying. I have to like turn the SFX off completely to uh, do this with any amount of regularity. The double breakthrough. Dodge. Really? Didn't do quite enough. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Get back in front. As life ebbs. Thanks for the tutorials. Terrible vistas of emptiness reveal themselves. I appreciate it. Yeah, they're all focusing on the leper. I marked the leper, so that's just kind of to be expected. Still is not the greatest choice, of course. The abyss. Another one falls. Easy. See, no problem. Get lots of loot. This expedition at least promises success. Full? Unacceptable. Eat more food. Just cram it in there. Giant alien spiders are no joke. Thanks 
something antiquarian. Why? Absolutely why. Here, turn her. kill one immediately. Perfect. I have so done it. A death by inches. It's like we're gonna leave this with uh, so very much stress. Hook to the face! You can put him on death's door, though. I don't think. Irrational. Reeling. Gasping. Take him over the edge. Oh, got a chain reaction going. Debusive. Uneducated brutes. The ignorance. Annihilated. The sheer ignorance. We're gonna die to a heart attack, probably. So this is why I don't do torches most of the time. <laughs> the, the the risks are high, and if you don't know. If you're not very confident in what you're doing, uh, it can go very, very badly. Yeah, this is an intentional No Torch uh, run. Or not run, but like a, a No Torch quest. Just one, one little mini dungeon. It's going about as well as expected. Some gas to that. Yeah, plus the the antiquarians like extra holding us back. <laughs> but think of all the uh, think of all the loot we're gonna have. Weaken. If I just end up throwing away these characters, it's still a profit, right? But does having no torch actually do huge modifier to stress, bonus modifier to monster accuracy and damage and crits? Higher chance that we're surprised, but player crits are also increased, and so, more importantly, is the loot we get. That's the big one, is the loot's up. Really? That didn't... Wasn't enough? Oh, you're just gonna outright die. Why did I let myself come to this? Being at 200 or close to 200 stress is uh, insanely dangerous. Ridiculously, insanely dangerous. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. Look at all the loot we get. It's so good. Here, have some. Are you still full? No, you're fine. See, see how fine you are? Such blockages are unsurprising. Oh, I don't have a shovel. Predate even well, guess we're digging with our hands! A hand's breadth from becoming unwound. Hey, we got a virtue. Easy game. Easiest game I ever played. Cool, this should be the the last room battle. The surprise is so annoying. <laughs> Get back. Fix that positioning a little bit.
Oh no, she refused the buff. Not allowed to target her, apparently. Okay. Give it to the leper then. Does horror do? Horror is uh, stress per round. Ria! A singular strike. Right up front. This is gonna go really poorly. More the dust, stresses were unbearable. More ashes. More disappointment. First of many heroes is given all in their service to to us. We have the option of trading. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can retreat or we can try at all costs to get the loot, of course. Which, obviously, we'll be doing. Blood is free, after all. Perched at the very precipice of oblivion. We're getting buffed again, shall we? Two down! Okay, well, our odds of uh, winning from here are actually zero. So I guess we should run away? Oh, there's no time. Yeah, yeah. You are the lone survivor of the quest. A setback. But not the end of things. So yeah, that's uh, that's what Torches is like if you uh, if you're not adequately prepared for it. It's uh, very much a huge step up. Although look at how much loot we got just from failing this quest. We pulled it over eleven thousand. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. Not something to advise on Blood Moon difficulty, as these three deaths do count towards uh, towards a campaign failure. So you don't want to be doing that on Blood Blood Moon, but. A fresh irritant. Figured I'd show that off a bit. A sanguine memory. EG. Alrighty. Well, it's still a little early. It's like uh, 5 p.m. my time. We've been live for nearly five hours. That is, I think, where I'm going to wrap things up for today. Been a pleasure checking out uh, Darkest Dungeon again. Um, very much. Seems like there's um. A good amount of new content added with the DLCs, but it's still very much the game that I remember. And uh, you need to find the the core game gameplay loop that's been showcased on screen um, for the last five hours. If you're going to do a complete playthrough of this, just imagine what I just did ten times in a row, and that's a very good depiction of what the game is. Very good depiction of it, I think. With some bosses thrown in. And there are some really cool bosses in the game. Um, looks like there's a, a wide variety of them, and those do define some of the best moments of Darkest Dungeon. But uh, the bulk of the gameplay is, is exactly this. Let's see, anybody on for me to host? No such thing. All right, well, tomorrow we will be back. Not later than 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Going to be doing... I'm not sure what I'll be doing. I'm feeling feeling inclined both towards our... A little bit towards our usual Sunday stuff and a little bit towards some FTL Faster Than Light. Um, as we've had some really good runs of that lately, so maybe we'll do that. And call it a variety Sunday. Litter 039, thanks for uh, hanging out. Schwartz Zishin, Dozy Lion, Sasuke, Mojo's, Mziggles, Jeef of the Thief, Stark Devi, Avenue Philanthropist. Thanks to everybody who, by the way, who voted for Darkest Dungeon during the December community game poll. We'll be doing another one in January. A bit more variety minded. Uh, there's a couple reasons. For that, I am not feeling bad about Spire in any way. Um, although the variety content is partially to help achieve that goal. Um, I've been feeling feeling a lot of pull towards variety from the audience side of things, and uh, 
the stream's in a better place now, I think is a good way to describe it. I am less concerned with uh, my bottom line than I was a few months ago. Less concerned with making sure that I can put food on my own table. Um, and that does give me room to explore in a direction away from Spire. So... That has, that has been an influencing factor. Uh, which is not to say that uh, I have intentions to move away from Spire. Uh, it is still, in my opinion, like the best game <laughs> that I play with any regularity. So I have many, many plans for that game in the future. But they may look a little bit different moving into next year. Anywho, that is going to be where I let things off for today. Thanks again, everybody, for watching. Ta-ta for now, and I'll see y'all next time. Oops. Here's the right one.